Monday and salutations everyone. Welcome to another episode of Together We Roll! Yay! Yeah! Before we get to it, Kevin, sub me off! We yeah. would like to say Corinne Milne, JD Arts, RPG Elements, Oki Deer, and Julia O'Brien for art, artwork, and other support they provided to the channel. You can find links to them below. Uh, support them, send them gifts, uh, do things that people like for them because they do things that we like for us, if you get my meaning. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, I think we're getting a little too uh, um, like moist over stuff. here, so calm down a bit. <laughs> and we've got this big ass crazy map to deal with. Yay! Yes! Alright. So, the Silver Menagerie. We're gonna die! The last time we left on the Silver Menagerie, we were having a drastic difference of situations as you went through the portal, most of you alive. Uh, you met the. Uh, the employed force of the soldiers that were guarding a school's headmaster's not royal chamber. Uh, you, surprisingly, in the midst of going from people dying, people did die, sports, you met the afterlife for a split second before coming back from butterflies and a brain hemorrhage. Uh, sprung a leak. You sprung a leak. <laughs> you came back? Uh, and talked your way out of it so that a bunch of uh, local uh, professor wizards would come and assist you. After talking them down, trying to like, hey, we're not assholes. Well, we are assholes. You almost but. went to that great recycling center in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a toaster! <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd probably wind up, as, wind up as another forge wing. It wouldn't be like that out-of-body experience. You just no. appear back at Hart Kern. No, that's only if you complete your life. You get reincarnated as a dining set. Hey, hey, Queen. <laughs> you ever feel like you're out adventuring, you know, you really want to, you're getting kind of peckish, and you go, I wish I had a way to make the waffles. Why do I feel like that comment was directed specifically at me? Because yeah. we both immediately looked directly at you and snickered. Anyway, so, you're sure I answer back to the, the uh, situation at hand. Eck, you just did a Kool-Aid man with a teeny hammer. No, no, you grew. Uh, you just had to rub it out a few times. Uh, <laughs> 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 I did that on purpose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you were the only one laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Touche. <laughs> anyway, so eh, you knocked down this false wall. Uh, it could have opened by other means, but you want Earth mode and full Kool Aid Man. Uh, you find yourself in a truly necromatic dying place as you see all this soul energy that was being collected in this basically soup area that was also the maze area that you first fought the shadow monarch that you've destroyed her body her soul went back to her phylactery you stare it out and now at it this overgrown vat of soul energy that thousands upon thousands of city souls that die in this city every day is being funneled into it's a necropolis <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It, um, no, it literally is. Yes, it is. <laughs> like the definition of a necropolis. Yes. The city of the dead. Yeah. And like this is her area. This is her town. This is her freaking kingdom. And right now she is in a bit of a hard spot right now as you uh have a literally eight wizards and I have like their sheets here. Now I misspoke, they do not have eight level spells, they but they have items and school That's right. funding of like wizards, bitches, they ain't rolling money. It does if any of them survive this we'll give them names. You know, yeah, they're, they're, they're all like trying to introduce, but they're like not the time, not the time, not the time because they all like we're important people. Uh I do not care right. unless you can survive. I don't them are them are I don't learn your names. There's one non noble and no one really speaks to him. Anyway, apart from that, uh, you're looking at the her heart, her true self that has been uh, holding herself, surrounded by cultists that are amid sac sacrificing themselves as they do literally the first row by the time you had to basically, you sacrifice to talk your way out of the first engagement. Uh, they're screaming and muffled in a, a, a like bound force wall energy over there. Uh, the first layer of cultists sacrifice themselves as you bust through the wall. That sounds wrong. Uh, <laughs> as they finish stabbing themselves in ritualistic ceremony as their soul gets transferred into the uh, phylactophy. That is, uh, that 
seems to be oh, taking oh. various parts of bones that have been littered the place and is like collecting, collecting, reforming, reshifting. And every time a, another soul adds to the pyre, more of the body they're is reforming. The body they're, she, they, right. she, they are sacking the icing themselves. Don't feed to that thing. Hazel. You'll never be able to get it to go away. So, let's get to this. First of all, we're going to start rolling dice real quick. So there are currently, there should be 18 cultists on the lower end of here. Unless you can see, right? Can you put uh, AOE spells through walls of force? Remove eight no, of no. them. Remove eight of them. Sporadically, randomly. You said front row, so I'm taking ah, four off the front row. It's a waiting line. line. Two, there should be 10 in the front four. and 10 in the back. So 20 total. Three. How many did you get? I got four. Four. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to roll their oh, hit dice and add it to the Shadow Marks total hit points. Current hit points, right? Yes. Current slash total. And once she gets to half, she regains consciousness. There you go. I know this because so, I had my eye on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm rolling D8s of who finishes, by the way. So I roll the 8 right <laughs> off the bat. That's the ability I'm stealing. I'm stealing the... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> We're stealing what? Lichdom! <laughs> you can't steal that. That's a whole ritual, yeah, asshole. Like, if you steal that... I, I know. Just, hey, I get to steal one ability. First of all, I know what your you're girlfriend's like. got word for you. <laughs> and it's going to come in the word of smite. <laughs> Threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like average Tuesday night. Enough with that. Uh, all right. So each cultist have six D eight. Now I'm not adding plus eight. It's just their hit dice. That's it. Eight of them in total. Uh, what's eight times six? Forty-eight. Thank you. That's a good start. And her total hit point was like 500 something. 462. Okay. All right. They've been working. You see like vertebrae are starting to rebuild along the spine. You see various different dragon parts that are coming from different parts of the horde are zooming into the center near the phylactery that is currently just <laughs> like just laid with pieces. <laughs> Back to battle. And back to the initiative order. Eck, you still have, I'm going to say, half of your movement. And you just used your action to break down this wall uh, with one attack. Right. So you have another attack uh, and a bonus action. You do not see Todd anywhere. And you're the first to see a, f a familiar squiddy face that you haven't seen in a very long time. Oh, As you see oh. this long cylindrical purple body wrapped in robes and a, a familiar yet signature uh, multi-layered uh, uh, dialed like monocle set of this scientist illithid if you remember his name probably not you haven't this is the first time you've seen him in this reality right. he looks pale and his skin is not looking healthy with the mucous membrane as he's currently stuffing a suitcase full of papers that he was <laughs> uh, that used to be his research that he recollected and he looks like he's about to cast like a teleportation through arcane means which by the way we're in the Mitchell anchor asshole not anymore you're outside oh, you're right you're in the city. As, as he before he finishes his completion of teleportation, he stops in a clear indication that he is having a tele, uh, telepathic based communication. Locks eyes with you, yeah. and just puts and puts uh, basically uh, he has a, like a storing unit behind him. Uh, puts the uh, bag of well, sorry, uh, this uh, pile of papers of research papers into his back and just has that uh, squid eyes of. I'm gonna eat your brain. <laughs> you tried already. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna starve, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ek, you have half a movement, and because uh, it's not its yeah. turn yet. All right. As Let you me. just hear in your mind, because you don't have any men uh, mental wards, do you? No. You just hear, "Wrong time, snap. Let's finish this for what you want to be." That would be a good time to summon your uh, snapping turtle. 
Like, he doesn't have that ability. Don't have it. Oh. What? His totem spirit is like Get out of my the head. reason why he's able to grow and stuff like that. All right, so I've got another half my movement. Yeah, half your movement. So unfortunately, that going to be twenty. It'll get you into the chamber. Yep. Yeah, so this is thirty. There's a fifteen. And I've already rolled so. an initiative of the wizards. Basically, you got two of every type of wizard that I have printed out. All right. And I will name them off when you when it gets back. All right, so I'm in the chamber. That's very good. I like Quinn. He's just like writing down in his book. Wait, 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 I've got an idea. I'm about to introduce myself. I have all my titles in here. All right, that's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And I have. (laughs) All right, so DM, here's what I'm going to do. We need a disintegrate spell. The character of stars. Does anyone have disintegrate? Yes. Good. And it will be my last spell. Or at least of my spells. There are more details, but right I now, just for just entering the room, sight. that's all you get. Focus on your turn, not the camera right now. All just right. Need uh, I am going shot. to... Since I can't make the distance, I'm going to throw that maul. Okay! And who... And you notice as you get closer, you hear little screeches and small little <laughs> youth, uh, coming out of the uh, corpse's uh, like skull area, brains with legs <laughs> come, come oh, crawling right. out. So I'm, those bug creatures, because I only have one actual Ill, uh, oh, right intellect to devour. devour. Yeah, so all those bugs and the tiny little intellect devourer goes, friend, friend, we're gonna make more friends. Well, yeah, but it's X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they barely it's going to be boring. They just go streaming right by you. <laughs> yes, watch out. <laughs> they really they gotta do. scream it in order for him to pick it up. <laughs> they feed off of intelligence. <laughs> Ten, come on. I'm sick. Uh, <laughs> I said a twelve. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm throwing it at um, Squid Boy. Squid Boy, throw. All right, so. This is a maul, not intended to be thrown. Yeah. Uh, so it's at disadvantage. It's disadvantage. So well, already, unless you're going reckless. I'm already... I'm going reckless. So, okay. To make so it even. it's straight up. And, uh... Yeah, let's see. Uh, hopefully... You know what? If I hit, I would say that this counts as a surprise for... for, for no, no, no. With the matter shit going on and... Not, oh, the, okay. Yeah. No, and, but no, my first my, my first attack for doing um, Slugger Strike. Uh, no. Th- that's if only if you have advantage or if you're fighting within five feet. So, unfortunately not. Right. You do have disadvantage, unfortunately, because he is blurred. And you do not have true sight or anything like that. So, we'll right. re- so, so roll one more time and take the lows. Oh, really? Yeah, because he's blurred on top of it. Oh. Even if you go reckless, it's... He's, then, then you have no one point. positive and two negatives. Okay. So, there's no point in... No, there's no point in going reckless at this moment. All right. So, 11 plus... 15, 26 to hit. Still? Jesus! Yeah, well, I have... Yes, that hits! That, that part, hits I have that strength, man. You bodied him! Alright, roll your damage. It's just straight up uh, mall damage. To, uh, Sorry, I was throwing away the stuff you just gave me. <laughs> 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 yeah, so it'd be a plus... Uh, yeah, plus... So there's maul plus, plus, seven, damp- seven, plus your range plus damage one. plus your strength. Yep, so maul is 2d10... Or 2D, excuse me, 2D6, right? Yes, 2D6, plus your strength, plus your rage, plus, was it a 2 or a 3 for the mall? Uh, Quinn? This is a plus 2. What? Oh, it's a plus 2 mall? Okay. 2D6 plus my strength. It had some other things on it, but I lost it. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Somewhere. Well, then, unfortunately, the the enchantment needs to be polished, you know? It Uh, it, it, it required attunement, but... None of us are attuned to it. No, even though we're no, at that power level, we don't need attunement, but it still takes 10 minutes to... Well, that's the thing. is Neither one of us were attuned to it. Or sorry, no, it takes an entire so, hour to yeah, attune. But that's the thing. It was just a plus two more because we weren't attuned to it. Exactly. Eight, nine, and now it's bright, gone anyways. Yeah. Add to the horde, you know? It's all over the place. 17. So just add some fancy pants plus two more to the horde. <laughs> <laughs> 17 points of damage. 17 total. Total. Yeah. Uh, that would be my... 2d6 plus 8 for my strength. So that, okay. And then um, the 1d4 extra because of the... well, I 17 total. So as you throw it, whoop, 
it hits his upper torso and you can see that he like blurs and then comes back as this weird uh, necromatic energy absorbs some of the hit. He's been taking lessons. So you hit him, but he temporarily hit him. Anyway. And I'm currently Earth. <laughs> You're currently Earth? I don't, I don't mean to be the next I'm still Earth, yeah. I'm still Earth. 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 Earth on the Shadowfell. Is I, here. It's not my new, it's not a new round. Oh, wait. Oh, is it a new round? I could change to something else if I want to. Because um, I do have yeah, bonus he's, action. He's done. Took you. Do I want to stay? Uh, crap. While you're thinking yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and stay because next round he's gonna get fucked. Okay. What? What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like before, Zinjoni is the Egg. Yes. We all know he's immune to like two hours. Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have a no. natural born immunity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is that line at the end of it? Kind of insulting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the the D and D movie when they're like they can sense it, they can sense heightened thoughts, and the thing just walks right by, and the bard's like, "Well, that's kind of insulting." <laughs> it is a. Are you in the charm effects? Negatory. Thought so. I need you to make a... How are you not? Wisdom saving throw, please. Aren't you raging? I'm raging. Yep. Doesn't that render you immune to shit? Not, not, not all ragers have that. Not, not immune to charm. Huh. Not all, uh, not yeah, all barbarians he's, have that. He's, he's, he's the one. one that... So I'm making a wisdom? Yes. I don't remember which Okay, that is a straight up, straight up roll. Mm -hmm. I do have a ring, a very powerful ring of protection. Okay. 24. 24. Damn! Gee. What you that's want like, to die? That's impressive for you. Like, yeah. you that ring up and it flashes. Go not today, asshole. <laughs> the DC was twenty two because this guy cast it through a warcaster's uh, like. I have one of those. Yeah, so it, it's a heightened like casting. <clears throat> Does, uh, let, let me remind him <clears throat> myself of his speech real quick to see. Person. You're gonna reroll again, motherfucker, because lucky. Where are those luck points? Who's lucky? You're not in the chamber. Everyone gets the ability to use the same. You still got 22. Hold on. Plus 5. 21. Ooh. But he saw it coming, right? No. Because greater invisibility. Who's worse than the shot? Yeah. So. Who's got greater invisibility? Point him out. Fairy fire the fucker. You remember. I'm going to say you go black. And you know who your true enemies are. Oh, that's right. You turn it <laughs> It's the little golden fucker. Has been the whole time. <laughs> But you're not going to say anything yet. You guys don't know shit, because he was the first one into the chamber. Mm -hmm. Magic. 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 You're probably out of range for counter spell. But I'm not out of range for my counter charm. Well, make a perception check. Yeah, you'd have to know about it. Make uh, a perception yeah. check. Counter charm is like the most useless of it. <laughs> it really is, unfortunately. Move the bone golems 60 feet around. And towards the chamber. Basically, where they were. Yeah. yeah. So, do, 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 do. so they sense more battle going on, and that's what's activating them. Um, the wizards might be able to do something about it because they're part of the school, but it's not their turn. Not yet. Their turn. Okay. They'll shut them back down, or set them loose on the shit in there. That's if they were the ones in direct control. Yeah, they probably guy inside the forest bubble is. It shouldn't just let me curbstomp him. Yeah, then you might have to fight them. Flame skulls are not here. Soldiers don't need to worry about them for now. Intellect devourers. Uh, the intellect devourers are... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's a lot of smoke coming out. So. <laughs> Especially on this side. Yeah. It's like uh, necrotic film. <laughs> yeah. The intellect devourers are going to move... Are those the little... Rust monsters. The rust monsters and the actual intellect devourer. This one's going to stay oh, right God. here. Sorry. And it's going to move. So 
Yeah. Move them closer to the door, but near the wall. Just here's the question: Do they recognize that Eck is no longer a threat? Yes. Do it. Because the intellect of uh, the uh, Illithid, scientist outfit, is actually communicating to people that are unseen right now. Mm. So I want the intellect in there and can see. Yes. They're still going to cast basic, like, greater invisibilities and stuff yeah, like that. that. Like, they're still going to do this because they don't know about your sight. Yeah. Don't nobody know about Quinn's bag of tricks. Well, they, well, they yeah. kind of do, but at the same time, for, like, people that they're, like, for everyone else, they're still going to do it because you still have to call it out and still going over, like, he's on the stairs! Uh, sure? No, I'm <laughs> arrowing to him the globe. Then, 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 then <laughs> like, that kind of thing, yeah. Uh, okay, Entity Scientist is gonna levitate. Yeah, just verify her ass. Glitter dust. It's everybody in range. Take him off the board. He's gonna... He's gonna teleport. And you guys don't have line of sight on him. And there's no friendly guys to tell, point him out. I have, a little, I have line of sight. Yeah, he's standing right in the center. I'm on the table, looking straight down the middle. Yeah, he's not down the wow. middle. So he was able to do. I was able to see him. This to me, and yeah, you see him. You see the illithid. You're all on the this, table, this so you can see a line sight. So he this clocks you, and just, you see the multiple tendrils just kind of flick you off. <laughs> well, that's just it. Like, <laughs> and you see him turn to mist. Misty step. And then I've got other targets. Yeah, you do hear like. <laughs> And you hear like distant psychic energies, oh, friends, 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 weird friends. New well, friends. luckily they don't find me intelligent, so that works. Out. <laughs> they don't stop find you fleshy. It's, they don't find me fleshy, which is where it's beneficial to me. At least they're not actual rust monsters, because they'd be <clears throat> fucked. Yes, I would be, because those would literally eat me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rust monster, you start running away. Yeah. Rust monster's a hard counter. I'm getting back. I'm getting. <laughs> That's a hard counter. I'm getting inside the fold. <laughs> 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 I'm, in, I'm inside the cage. Yeah. With the other guys. Cage myself. <laughs> I'm shit out of this. I'm just gonna. I'm, I feel safer in there. No. Uh, how many intellect devourers are next? No. Not. not so yet. those are intellect devourers, uh, mm. not rust monsters. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Intellect. I am significantly I less friend. Yeah. If they're all intellect devourers. I don't have enough miniatures for intellect. Okay. Devourers. Good. I thought so they were rust monsters. I, I am significantly less friend now. <laughs> No, no, my apologies. That, that was. I was hard. about to go full, like, nuke, just. <laughs> unload every single bit of ammunition I had. Mm. Get away from me. I'm just making mental note of various background shit. Okay. I was about to throw in frag grenades in there. It was going to be mass The hysteria. college wizards oh, are going <clears> to. <throat> Are gonna so take the Friends. various college wizards and like move them to the side, like over here. Like, oh god, no, those are the regular wizards, the wizards' apprentices, like these guys, the guys that were on the crystals and stuff like that. They're still going, oh my god, are you getting this? Like, they're over exaggerating and stuff like that. Just pull them back, just pull them back. I think yeah. that was it. Sparks, it okay. is your turn. Those are the actual wizards. These are the actual wizards, yeah. Sparks, it's your turn, okay. So, mm -hmm. they're called the wizard bystanders, they're apprentices. They, they're like, this is way too fucking up on my I need anyway. two little markers. You need what? I need two little markers that are going to be tossed. Like, I need two things. Like these guys? Um, markers? Those work? Yeah, I guess I, I just need to place them down effectively. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as I'm reaching for Hart's Kern, Harkard's piece, I see these things crawling out. I hear things moving around. It's like... Tink! <laughs> <laughs> you develop the teeth. The de <laughs> it's like arch, like pulled on me, like the, the arm. No, 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 I like the fact you got little hooks under your chin. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you can do it. That's just art. I need that as a freaking like metal cover. It's got hooks inside. <laughs> just, yeah, like just, a rock star cover album. <laughs> full metal man, just <laughs> yeah, pull the sure chin. There has to be. Yeah. Anyway. I only have two frag grenades, but I'm. I always got those little metal curls, but it, you know, like like a little beard. But no, it's actually like can openers or bottles. Now he's got the rings just hanging there. <laughs> <laughs> that jingle, <laughs> jingle, jingle. Anyway, <clears throat> so they so you immediately you activate them. Now they take a full action for each grenade, if I remember correctly. No, unless it says differently. As far as I know, it's just utilizing an item. Yeah, utilizing an item. 
it's not a multi-attack thing. Multi-attack uses your full action. And that gives you multiple... Oh, as an action, your character can throw a grenade up to a point sixty feet away from them. So it's one. Okay. And 60 feet is not a lot. Yeah, measure the 60 foot. Right, 60 That's a 60 foot. I think this is the 60 foot. That's a 60 foot. Ah, that is fine for me. We're free! No, we're not. I'm just going to land it right there. You know Sparks is there. Eck is there. Oh, sorry, sorry, Eck. Oh, Eck can handle That's fine. <laughs> what? Hold on! It's going to blow up next turn, and he's moving. He's fine. I mean, fair. Right okay. That crystal thing. Sparks. It can. You... He's not stupid. I see him going that way. I know for a fact that he is going to move out of the way. Well, I'm throwing it there. Turn around, going. You gonna come in, guys? Yeah. <laughs> so okay. Cool. Okay. So, Sparks, you throw an active grenade that is the size of a freaking. Uh, um, it's a Spartan-sized grenade. Yeah, it really is. It's uh, a football. It's a football. Because <laughs> it's a gnome grenade. <laughs> As you uh, uh, act, you hear. Ting, 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 and you hear as you hear the grenade uh, so getting ready to go off. Anything else, Sparks? Nobody go through that doorway. Okay. Like the wizards, they know exactly what that is. And that's what I'm. Okay, so that was a full action for that one. Um, I'm now going to take one bonus action to chug a potion. Okay. One of the nice superior healings. The only other one that I was given. And then I will use my other bonus action to ready my heart currents piece. Uh, that's just an interaction, so it doesn't take okay, so action. Okay, I will be switching to my heart currents piece. Unless you're like loading in specific ammo. Uh, it's already it's already preloaded with a wedge round. Go. Oh. So you're good. Yep. All right. End of your turn. End of my turn. End of the turn. It's going to be the two. Uh, sorry, it's going to be one wood wizard's turn. Thank you for the extra bonus so, action. So wood elf wizard. So we're going to take. Some take Heartache. Uh, see the one that's holding the fire at the center? Sure. Yeah, so she's going to be the wood elf. Mm-hmm. I'm going to write that down. Fireball yellow. Okay. Uh, no, I just put down... Yeah, we're, we're going for that. I don't know what it is. She's looks going important. to... No, she, I mean, she has cloud kill, but she looks at all the necrotic shit. She's like, yeah, that, that's probably not going to work. No, what? Uh, she sees the big Warforge, and she's going to go, how many people want to fly? I'll happily take some flight. That's one. Last second. Two, three, four. Yeah. I'll do it. You'll do it? Okay. We're going to go uh, fly level Four, no, can I? Can I, I? I can still engage. Yeah. yeah, I can still engage in this conversation. Yeah, That's she hard, still thinks like fully like you're with. So fly, fly, fly. So uh, three of you have fly at a fifth level, and okay. she's concentrating on fly. Can she get me from that distance? She'll move forward if needed. Wait, aren't you not our friend right now? They don't know that. They doesn't know that. They don't know that. <laughs> Which would be both good and terrible because. What is that? Now, you ten, but now you have literally an ecking ball in the air. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure you have something to do with that. Uh, third level can cast the tires. Uh, oh, it's touch. So shit. Oh, you have to touch. Yeah. Well, that means me. Okay, then I don't need it. Okay, so she touches you. Fly. So it's just a basic third level. Oh, great. I'm back to flying. Yep. Suddenly, I have a lot more mobility. How high is the ceiling? And how big is the hole? Uh, the, the ceiling it's is... It's an X-sized hole? It's an X-sized hole. Got it. Uh, we're going to say... The, uh, X-sized hole. Yeah. The hole, I'm going to say it's a... So uh, 15 X's holes are bigger yeah, than others. I'm going to say it's a 15 by 15, and it's uh, roughly 40, 50 feet tall okay. before it starts to go into, like, you know, artistic, like, grand, like, dome kind of stuff. That's fine. I, I can fight in zero G. I've done it before. Yeah. And you've flown before. You just got a headache right now because you're. Just remember, you're one level exhaustion. I am not because I have caffeine. Ah! Gotta got that. Uh, move caffeine, boost! It's <laughs> just a freaking chest. Oh, I need to make you out. Espresso. <laughs> okay, two more hours. Let's go. Okay. Uh, yeah, egg espresso. <laughs> it, is uh, the uh, it is now the cultist's turn. Ah! Uh, 
<laughs> With, With that I'm bad in... joke, roll a d8. Out of curiosity, where am I on this initiative order? You're about to come seven. up. Seven. Seven? Seven Coulters go, oh, no, I deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> Take seven Coulters off the board. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I got three. Oh, no. I just helped them a lot. Three, four. We're good. Yeah. Uh, what is six times seven? 42. 42. Thank you. The answer to the universe, life, and everything. Even death, apparently. That was a lot of Yes, cultists. it was. So I they're thank under wall you. Force. We can't yeah. cast spells through that. You have to can I cast wall. spell through it? You have to disintegrate. Okay. It's the only counter to wall. It's force. a very. It, it's magic. a fundamental of like you know. Even like, does spell magic work on wall force? No. It has to be disintegrate. Yeah. What happened to my? Damn. There we go. If we kill her once, we can kill her again. I don't have it. Yeah, sure. I do, but she doesn't have her the, original body. It's only got a sixty foot range. Oh, so I can't get there this turn. As soon as they come back, it's still not. They're still not full of power, so it's it's doable. No, but it's still gonna be a bitch. We don't have me. We don't. Yes, have... that's the problem. It's going to be a bitch. No, I will shit. say. We have a lot of firepower. This, I'm gonna say this right now. Normally, her normal comeback abilities. Uh, she needs a full. Like, Don't call it a comeback. <sighs> in order to come, in order to have a physical body again, she needs half hit points. This is a rush job. In order to come back, and with Arcana, she's already passed half hit points. She's going to come back with full hit points because how? Hmm? How is she already passed half? Because people points? are in themselves. It's just this is a different ritual than what she normally just comes back. Yes, with. but through this, you know. Bloke job is that basically a good amount of bloke getting there. Yeah, yeah. A good amount of with talks. normal time it's only half hit points, but with like, you know, other circumventing ways, mm -hmm. she needs to come back at full hit points. Okay. Otherwise she would be back right now. Okay. What's up? Because they've been rolling high. Normally well. it takes days. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This takes hours. This is this is like a circumventing is, of like, yes, is, I can come back now, but I need twenty people to this kill is themselves. Thirty seconds after we killed her. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. Well, more like 40, 50 seconds. Yeah. Kill her again. Yeah. Jesus comes back with kill again. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, thank you for that terrible joke. Now it's the transmutation wizard. Wood evoker transmuter wizard. Um, would he turn himself into like a solar or something and get in there? Uh, he's not powerful. Uh, let me double check polymorph. He might just turn himself into fucking dinosaur. T Rex. Yeah. Uh, let me double check Polymorph again, like, what to what. If he's, if he's level 12, he can do T-Rex. He is... Is there any big baddie guy or your Spellcaster, the caster, uh, da, 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 da. He is considered a... Is he an Archmage? He's a, tr a Transmuter tonight. He's not an Archmage. He's a Professor. So he's probably like seven. He's a... Mm -hmm. At most. He's uh, he, he can cast fourth level, essentially. So fourth level uh, for mage is not twelve. Seven. Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately, no T Rex. No T Rex. No T Rex. A lot of seven mages. What about a giant? Level three. Giant ape, you can do. I think. It's, I think it's you can do it. CR equal to your level. Yeah. yeah CR. Way to do it. Yeah. Um, da 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 da. No, uh, look that up uh, for whoever wants a giant ape on the field. Yeah. Thank you. Otherwise, it's going to shut down the uh, flow. Uh, sorry, Quinn, but it is your turn. Followed by Finley Todd Vedic. I'm going to fly my silver surfer board in there. How far? Uh, going to make another uh, acrobatics check, please, because you are flying this thing at way too fast to be in the building. Yeah. That's 20. Oh, yeah. No, add proficiency. Yep. At this point, just add proficiency. proficiency you are proficient sense. at at whatever this yeah, thing I, is. I now have proficiency in that tool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're good. All right. Um. 
Because you're rolling too good. On this <laughs> so, I am dropping dice through a time or so. It's not like Clearly, the magnets in the board are right. working. <laughs> I'm, now the, I'm now in the room with True Sight. Yes. So you're three half of today? Yeah. But they've all been on not combat. Not so combat rolls. Hit this guy. Greater invisibility. Put him 40 feet up in the air. Okay, oh, really? okay. Um, yep. Oh, they're all you can have more shit here. as well. This one right here. Yep. Cool. So you can utilize whatever you need. Make sure we're And he's like, that's he's silly. hovering over like this thing it? right here. That's okay. I got you. So two of those, I think, can get you there. Actually, in order for like dominate person to happen, it would be like right here. You need a top. Here's your 40. I only wonder it wasn't the same dude that did it. Nope. No, actually, he like wanted right it over, over there. there. He wanted it over there. Yeah. I'll stick him on there. <laughs> no, I like it. No, that's, <laughs> that's more than 40 feet, guys. No. That's 30. No, he's right. Okay, hang on. Uh, hang on, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Okay. There's 40. Yeah. Point, he's right there. So that's the first yeah. person you see. Going to roll a straight up perception. Uh, what's your passive perception? 22. 22. You do not see anything else. Okay. Uh, do I see the illithid? Uh, the, uh, yes, you do, actually. The illithid is floating uh, 40 feet up directly at the center. Son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 no more! <laughs> oh, there's gotta be more, man! <laughs> I'm glad I organized these. Welcome to high level combat. <laughs> we need the large ones. We have the large ones available, too. Right in the center? Right. Uh, front and center. Does anyone want a bubble? Golden okay. dome. Mm. Yep, he's levitating right there, just floating up. And unfortunately, uh, Quinn, mm -hmm. make an intelligence saving throw. Are you immune to psychic damage? Yes! We all are. You feel psychic blast. What's a, Where do you get are? this immune? Uh, from, what was again? from a rain? Yeah. Poison. There's a psychic fear. immunity? Yes! Fuck! Why did I give you that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as you feel your mental of presence, you feel like a thousand like different like thoughts about to get into it. Your ring literally goes into autopilot and like reconstructs whatever it's trying to rip apart. So you like you feel yourself like, oh, this would be bad if I wasn't mentally reconstructed this singular moment. Okay. Uh, as he un unleashes a psychic blast on you, you still need to make an intel uh, intelligence saving throw. Uh, no, he wouldn't uh, hit you right now. And, and he knows your time. I need, a, I need a, his a deception check against my perception check. I'm using the eye as a bonus action on the illithid. Because he is not hitting the uh, turtle. All right. Oh, so no, you're looking at him now. Yeah. So if, okay, if you steal again, you're, it's that other ability you stole goes away. I know. Okay. Just your eyes triangulating, analyzing target. So deception on illithid is not the best. Eyes. Break it down. Should be a 60 foot somewhere. Is there a 60 foot check, stick? Check underneath the paper over there. That's a 90. Yeah. So what was your perception That's 60 here. before I even check? 41. Oh, you see everything, dude. I know all there is to know about this. Uh, so I want you to look up as something called a Mind Flare Arcanist. Okay, I'll, I'll remember that in a second. Yes. Uh, like that, was, that was my bonus section, but then invisible guy up here, Yep. he's catching some arrows. Understood. So you look at this uh, basically um, member of the Exalted Claw individual, robed, uh, strange tattoos across his body with a, almost like a scarring, two-faced kind of situation, yeah. but like where the scars would be on the uh, face, your perception is high enough to know like it's like a dragon's face underneath, like the skin was peeled off and like draconic features are underneath. So he skin carved himself. In a way, there's something about him that is like, craft. yeah, something Yay. weird. Definitely not good for like yeah. normal okay. life. First arrow. Most people will just see it as like yeah. terrible. That scarred. die is weighted. It seems like it sometimes. Um, Roll a different die. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> that die isn't much well, better. Just a reminder. You only have two arrows unless you're using your bonus action with uh, specifically the uh, frozen uh, from the. I know. Okay, just making sure. If you're using that bow, that allows you to use a bonus action to hit again. Yes, I Okay. I am using that bow. Okay. But I'm he's not, got the two bonus you, actions. But I have two bonus actions right now. So do I. Yeah. So, so that's you, why I've been shooting three times is because I have the bonus action on the bow. Yes, but you were also not using the ice bow last with the dragon, but you're still using your bonus action to attack. Oh, okay. 
It's too late now to fix Sorry. it, but yeah. Sorry, I forgot that it was specific to the bow and not to me. Exactly. That's why I'm Because I got so many different things that give me I so know, many different This things. is high level combat. This is what happens. And this is why Baldur's Gate only goes to level 12. Because <laughs> good perfect. luck balancing this. <laughs> there is so, uh, I'm able to do Chain Lightning uh, three times without even being hasted. 22 to hit him. Uh, 22 to hit him. That might not hit him. He might miss. Uh, yeah, he shields. Okay, second shot at him. It was worse. Third shot. Okay. Uh, 27. 27? That one will hit. Okay. That So that's... Now he's glowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I, it the right. gate is invisibility. Oh, are you using all glowing shots? Yeah, they're all okay. glowing shots. Because okay. it's just, it's not even an action to do it. It's just something the bow does. Just, remember, I married my two bows together. I took, what well, one of my wishes was taking Fancy Pants Ice Bow and my Shooting Star Bow and marrying them together. There, there must be charges. It can't be unlimited. We'll look into it later. Yeah. <laughs> we'll look into it later. Nothing can, uh, can be unlimited. Okay. Uh, that would just be too powerful. Well, all, all it does is make him glow. So, well, yes, but... He gets yeah. advantage. So, yeah. people give advantage to hit him. It doesn't negate his advantage from being invisible. It allows people to see him. Yeah. Yeah, because he has greater invisibility. You see so. him, but, you know, it basically it's like, ah, oh, there he is. because I didn't have advantage yet, I was not using sharpshooter. That's why I didn't de yeah. declare I was using sharpshooter. So now, uh, before it. it actually lands and connects... There is a ward on him because he's a specific type. Okay. I'm going to say if you do not get past his uh, arcane ward, it does not stick on his body. What do I need? Oh, for the arrow? For the arrow. So do your damage. Okay. It has a hit point total. Uh, six, twelve, no, plus nine. So, thirteen. Thirteen. So he takes thirteen points of damage and the arrow bounces off in a, a shower of exploded material. Okay, so, he's not, <laughs> so he doesn't have a glowing arrow. Anymore. No, he does not. So he basically, you like, he erects a super ward, okay. and uh, this is a dense fucking bubble to pop. Yeah. Like, you're you're hitting it, but there's some, like, a ward. Like, it, every now and again, for those that actually are looking at the moment, there's like a flash of arcane energy for mm -hmm. wherever you, like, hit him, hit him. Giant ape. Do we have a giant ape? We have a giant ape. I have a stat block. So, this is a, a large or huge? Uh, it's huge. Ooh, look across there. I also have Why other things that we do here. Get yourself a huge buddy and put him on the board. Huge. Oh, wait, wait. There you go. Which was guy was it? Uh, it like, I'm put the, the gnome. The gnome? Yeah. <laughs> You invited King Kong. If a gnome knew polymorph to go into a giant egg, do you think he's going to hesitate? No. <laughs> Speed of 40 feet. He just starts, uh, before he transfers, he goes, and he's like, grows every time he chest pounds. <laughs> uh, he's going to run in here and crush that first, that closest intellect devourer. <laughs> okay. Take that intellect vector out. Oh. Oh no, he goes up to it because he used this action to cast polymorph. Yeah. So he just looks at the, the, uh, the, Intellect of Now I need another tab to look up the Arcanist. Yeah. And with the Mind Flare Arcanist. So that's your turn? Oh, that's yes. Finley, Todd, uh, Todd is still banished. Uh, Vedic, it is your turn. Okay. So Vedic is going to hop on his little magic carpet and fly right over here to the end of the table. Okay. And he leans over and he leans against the force the force wall that's there. Yeah, there's a bunch of soldiers like like a few of them are still like No 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 the one the one with the the one with the, the paladin oh, he inside. Is, he is going through his And like, not and not right now scroll, no, I'm gonna knock on the scroll knock on the wall with a scroll. You wanna see something really cool? Meteor swarm. <laughs> okay, so Meteor Swarm, you know how big that fucking thing is? Yes, okay. I do! <laughs> so where are the other blast radiuses going? Uh, basically, I want to cover everything in this room in a, gro in a gross overkill, except this. And I definitely want to get so okay. up and over. So you just... Okay. Everything in the room. <laughs> Carpet off. So... Cross-over saturation. Okay, so you're uh, making sure you don't hit Ek or the giant ape. 
Right. Uh, and so, so I imagine this, in, this intellect Press devour, fucking quit. It's here. Okay. It's here. I imagine the intellect of our is free and okay. probably that so one's free. So roll your but... damage, and they can't be hit multiple one, uh, times. So right. everyone that is not in, protected by the freaking wall, uh, force the, wall. Can you damage a wall with anything else? No. Okay, so that's 75 fire. Okay, so take the intellect of ours out. <laughs> <laughs> Even well, if they say... Uh, there's two of them. Damn, it's there's too bad. Two. I was fired. There was I, five I, of them. Right yeah, there's, there's two left. I only got, oh, only okay, got three. Two left. Okay. And 78 bludgeoning. Okay. And you have these guys, too. Yeah. So hold those numbers. Hold I'm going to roll... 78 bludgeoning? Yeah. 20d6 and 20d6. Holy... It's a ninth level scroll. The elite okay. has an uh, advantage on the same. Well, considering a good chunk of this, uh, is the elite going to get hit? Because, points. Uh, well, if the elite gets hit, that means Ek and the giant ape are going to get hit. I can totally do this without. Well, I don't actually care all that much about the giant ape. It was his fault for going in. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. But no, I like. I want to. I want to orb like so. That this catches that, but Look. if you rotate it down, he absolutely. I can. I can definitely avoid. No. Ek. Yep. He can no! get there, absolutely avoid that. No! He has a name! He has a name! It's relevancy. He is relevancy. Oh, I've got the same idea. You can't do this! Yeah, I need to run it up. Hey, sorry, I gotta go back. One thing I forgot to do on my turn. All oh, right. Oh, okay. Okay. Greetings! I am Quinn of the Crescent Quiver, Prince of Twilight, Imperator of Stars, Ardent of Hope, Lord of Songs, Tail Starter, Patron of Common Heroes, Ascendant of the Court of Shimmers, Stealer of Divine Panties, Frostbane, Demon Slayer, and the last living thing you are ever going to see, asshole. Describe how your meteor song goes. <laughs> Shut this is where he steps out of the building. It's inside the building. Inside right. the building. You're, you're, let's, okay. Zoom out to a the freaking <laughs> top part of an <laughs> academy yeah, yeah, yeah. that has a so, dome glass roof. So so no, you've got there's the street, right? The like there's there's nice. people like in the marketplace outside, and there is a there is a detonation, like like glass from every building within a square mile <laughs> just flies out. There is a mushroom cloud that rises up from the center of this tower, and everyone in the marketplace looks up, sees that it's the building, sees that it's the the the, the, academy. the, the academy, goes. Okay, so how much was that? That was seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, probably a student. Well, someone just uh, summoned so someone just summoned Balrog. It must be finals week. <laughs> yeah, must be finals week. <laughs> really, yeah. So so he he does the no, whole those entry exams, man. Hey, it's always those entry exams. And the last living thing you are going to see, asshole! <laughs> Hi! Boom! <laughs> Hi! And what's that? Half second of a singular <laughs> moment where everything goes quiet. The theater clubs putting on Brigadoon. <laughs> and there's a small time anomaly singularity that forms at the center at each four points that it's just filling this room apart from the very specific moments. I want everyone that's not getting hit make a freaking constitution saving throw because you're in a, like, the pressure chamber is real. <laughs> Why did I throw the grenade? <laughs> <laughs> You're all. And, that and grenade and was like, huge. What grenade? What, did I hit with that grenade? <laughs> what did you know? Sparks is like you threw a grenade. It went off oh, early. Shit. <laughs> oh shit! shit. <laughs> a couple of wizards, Just a regular pint-sized yeah, atom bomb. <laughs> the wizards like get that to me. Give that to me. <laughs> give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. We're gonna put that deep underground. We're gonna put it in the ground. The chest opens up, puts it back in. Bag of holding. It's where it belongs. I will save you for another time. So it's a dexterity. It's a dexterity. It's a dexterity throw. Okay. You can. You, people can totally make it. For half. For half. with a plus one. He got a fifteen. Oh. Yeah, that ain't gonna <laughs> So how much damage was that? Seventy-five, 75 and seventy-eight. There's not a body left. There's, there's no way, like, describe his end. There's nothing left. Hold on, we, we'll get to him in a moment. Jesus. Uh, what is his end? Face. His end is to be perpetually a shadow up on the wall. <laughs> 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 I know it's an elephant. It's because you're not a What movie is that? He Natural 20, motherfucker. The star face, it might be. He will live! 
So, okay. What about the one behind the wall of force? So, what was the damage? Is that that bubble? Take, nothing. He takes half? If you take half, bubble? yeah. Half of 75 and 78. Uh, yes. What is he resistant to? Let me double check because he is a sorcerer. He's fire and bludgeoning, so. Uh, 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 like shit, green, I mean, drink, green, green dragon. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, so yeah. Getting See, ready. I was hoping that somebody was going to go counter spell, and I'm like, I'm out of range. <laughs> this, has, this spell has a mile range. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> it works. Yes, it's a nuke. <laughs> it's a nuke. It's, a nuke. It's, not it's, not it's not meant to be used as <laughs> no, a. It's not a close range weapon. It's not, it's it not. is a story device. Is what it is. Okay, it's, so yeah, it really is. Anyway, but I love this. I love this. So. We're gonna go with this. Okay, twenty nine. So, so twenty nine for the ward minus twelve because he got hit. So, so what is the damage? Uh, seventy five and seventy eight is one hundred and fifty three. One hundred fifty three halved because he takes half damage. Is seventy one. Seventy one. So minus seventy one is fifty four. Has total. a name on it. A fireball is the blue making sir. Is thirty four. Meteor swarm is dear grid coordinate. <laughs> this is a public service so, announcement. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how you go, we we one of the wizards. We're not a threat, guys. Seriously. Hey, you want to see something? <laughs> <laughs> and you wanted to try and not pick a fight. All right. Right. That's just it. Like leaning over and go, the you want to rethink that foot thing? <laughs> <laughs> the guy in the force bubble is now so, sitting down. So all the, all the eight wizards push him back ten feet on their butts. <laughs> and you wanted to... <laughs> You got pissed off at the bar. Yeah, uh, the <laughs> jaw, the Dragonborn's jaw just full blown open. I'm just like everyone in here is just completely protected by the yeah, Dragonborn. Because the shockwave that came outward, it, like it rattled the cage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also this, this wall of force bowls in yeah. just a little. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was possible. Make a make a Constitution saving throw as well. Sure. And what was your Constitution saving throw? Twenty. Uh, what's your save DC? Uh, sorry. It's either 22 or 23. Okay, so you are not. So you go flying. I'm on a surfboard. Yeah, you're on a surfboard. So you start spiraling backwards 15 Shit, feet I and put yourself on the floor. Because you weren't expecting that. <laughs> I always expect an explosion when he's involved. <laughs> Oh, 11? 11? You go flying out the door uh, 15 feet prone. Was that a con save? Uh, he makes a constitution table throw for concentration. Con yeah, that's, that's my question. Is, no. Who made their constitution? Who made their concentration? Con, con saving throw. Oh, I did a con check. A con saving throw I'm puts me at 17. <laughs> yeah, I just puts put me at 23. 23? Uh, so you are still there. Your ears are... <laughs> what? I'm gonna load the further back and I just locked the bolt down. Yeah. Right, it's just like... And all the Why wizards are the grenade. The wizards are like, ah! 33. The, the ape, ape has no hair on the front <laughs> side. <laughs> just, just naked ape, front half. Oh, that ape is out the door. He rolled a natural one. Oh, he went around the corner, so he was up against the door. Yeah, like <laughs> and there's still a wall there. <laughs> I have another one of those grenades if you want it. No. <laughs> Take out the walls. Yeah, take out the walls. Yeah, blow right there. yeah there, there's debris everywhere. There. So I rolled uh, for concentration check between the ward and the temporary hit points for other things. And then it gets to his actual hit points. I rolled a 19 on the die with half the damage that actually hit him. He, rema he maintains the concentration and he's still there. Okay. Yeah. But still, you cleared the chamber. So my question is, right, that was the goal. Yeah. Is X still under mind control, and is Todd still banished? Have Todd you know? is still banished. Who, Who is maintaining concentration on banishment? You haven't seen him? Yeah, that's fine. I, I figured that was... He's hiding the old-fashioned way. Uh, not being in the room. Oh, he's in the room. He just happened to be in the one spot that they get fucking nukes. <laughs> Could be one of the other corners, too, let's be now, honest. If anyone was in the room to see him, then maybe you would have been like, yeah, I, I didn't actually make an active perception check, so. Which means he is here. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, uh, so, oh my yeah, God. concentration or remains. Over there. Um, it's in there. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We still have, we still have I, I don't think you know about the, the charms yet. You just no, no, I'm, I'm yeah, so mad. He's probably shitting his pants. 
Yeah. You just hear in the in an invisible person go with the brown pants. You just hear the it's like someone cuss and draconic go, What the fuck just happened? Okay, so I don't need light and flare all crew out. Yeah, so <laughs> my no, flare is gone. So the, he was relevant. The wall of force. You're looking kind of your reflection of the wall oh, of force. So here we go kind of about the wall of force. Thank you for reminding me. There's a lot there's a lot of shit going on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So where's my where's my ah, here we are. There was a lot of okay. magical energy right so, there. This wall of force, and you actually see it Which after one? it takes damage, it's actually from a magical item called, and it's being bo boosted a little bit, it's, it's from a cube of force. That's oh, cube of force. Thing? No, that wall of force over here. Oh, so okay. they can take damage from multiple things. And I'm going to say, it doesn't list it, but I'm going to say Meteor Swarm will be one of those because it has <laughs> listed for like disintegra disintegration, horn of blasting, yeah. and like other, other things in I, order to like start damaging. Ram. So I'm going to say... That what you did was the equivalent of a disintegration times two, because you did a ninth level spell. So roll two d twelve to remove charges. Two d okay, I'll take it. Holy crap! Yeah. Well, yeah. Meteor storm. You might knock down. Eighteen. Damn. Take off the wall, wall of force, guys. Because okay. it's been up the entire time when you were doing other shit, marking down points of like how much wall of force. So. The, the smoke is still in the chamber, glass everywhere, raining down from the heavens. And as enough of like, and the people coughing, and like, uh, most of the witches are like, what the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Do it again! Yeah! And you immediately find me, though. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. High fives. High fives, high fives all around. High fives. <laughs> So it's now the two evokers' turns at the end of your oh, turn. It's like the, <laughs> like the gnomes like, uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So two of the evokers, I'm going to choose who are the evokers. I mean, um, the gnome got blown through a wall. He did not survive that. <laughs> yeah. No, he's a giant ape right now. Yeah, he's a giant ape. So uh, I'm going to say this guy's the evoker. He's going to move 30 feet, so about One there. of those is actually holding grenade, fire. Grenade! The grenade? grenade? No, that one, that one, yeah, sure. Okay, it's, 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 it's my grenade, grenade there or no? This is gone. Your grenade is no, gone. That's, that's the what else. Is my grenade there or no? No, the grenade's gone. Okay, the grenade's gone. <laughs> the grenade's gone. <laughs> gone. Do you think a grenade's surviving in there? No, it no. goes, it goes, pink, 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 hey, like you. <laughs> there you go. There's so they're going to get into the area. Behind you. So, there's not a lot of cultists, cultists left, but they're going to, they're going to do fireballs, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm remove, helping! I'm going to remove them. Because they're going to do upcast fireball and remove those cultists. Because those guys have to make saves. Uh, this guy needs to make a, a save. Uh, oh, boop, boop. Because they, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. And no, that dead. guy. Dead. Dead. Uh, no, he's he's dead. Yeah, this guy's dead. He had a meteor drop on his head. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, most people would be dead. There's still a shit ton of magic on that uh, phylactery, but at least for now, it's not again. It's not going to gain any more hit points from the sacrificing. Now, that's not all she has. Good. As you notice, that there are two other, oh, sorry, three other phylacteries in that chamber that are currently wrapped around with multiple iron chains with spikes that are connected to uno, uh, dos, tres phylacteries. Two of them that happen to be in the banished soul cage of Todd. Oh boy! It's siphoning off all the stuff from Todd that was Todd's carrying. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna get those shit. Well, she's buying all the one. <laughs> I'm gonna say that energy. was an excellent use of your turn, Mister Veda. Okay. Uh, the the miner. Um. <laughs> shit, Zal. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you do that to start? <laughs> Next time, leave with that. <laughs> uh, Give me a minute. Okay. How much was that scroll worth? A lot. Ask me that question. Did they... I'm saving it for the Tarask. Yeah. Well, how more... much do you need? And where do we source them? I have one more. And I can make them if you give me enough time. Okay. How about seven years? Uh. <coughs> it's uh. in the eye. What? It's in the eye. <laughs> you saw me this work. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh my oh. god. Oh! That thing sits heavy in your eye. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know you could tear ducts in that holy thing? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Twice. <laughs> oh my god. 
That item is worth its weight. So nothing. Many lives over. <laughs> You hear a little scudding of like someone running really fast, but it's like on all fours. And you hear something on the right side of the building, but no one's in the building to let you know where he is. Because that, that made him fucking like. Sit up and pay attention. Yeah, shut up and pay attention. Honey, I'm home! <laughs> Those entrance exams. Wow. You didn't think we were done, did you? <laughs> I'm looking at the list. Talk, about, the, talk about kicking the, the door. Mind flare arc. There's the, like, okay, which of these am I going to steal? And I'm stealing telepathy. Heck, it is your turn. Nice. It's good. You need to take out that ranger. Actually, uh... That's my turn? There's two arcs. Yeah, there's... Right? No, tactically, what is the best way to prevent them from entering this chamber? Oh, uh... And you... There's all, no door. All, all, uh, all lethality is off. Uh, is preferred. You can need well, something to block that point, wall. Uh, well, I don't have anything to block the wall. I oh, yes, he yeah. does. He goes oh, earth and he earthquakes us. Oh, yes, that's true. That's probably your the roof best down. bet. Uh, the trick is, is all right. This is Let's bring the roof down. Hold on a second. I look at this for a second. If I have to use, so that's my full action. Do I feel thing. the earth move. How many stories underground? The sky you're outside. We're outside right now. So yeah. it's daylight above us. Right? So you're Where above. Thing go? You're on the. Yeah. You're on like but a when, major when, structure. When go down. <laughs> oh, which is arguably oh. worse. All right, I've lost my. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you dropped a meteor. Lens. This is no longer a sound structure. No. <laughs> The I feel floor. like that's a them. Man, yeah. am I glad I have right, a floor. No, no, I'm going to make a constitution saving throw for the floors. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. They just had meteors dropped on them. Yeah. Those uh, are big craters. Very big craters. Is it red D4 out of one of okay. the options? No. Things are looking There's a little a crackly and creaky, oh. but, you know, it's still structurally sound. Must be by the dwarves. Uh, it's made by wizards. They know it's gonna fucking okay. Yeah. The problem is, is he's is is the ranger is still flying. Yes. Oh yeah, a lot of shapes. No, what? Remove. Take out that flying device. That's what I do. Yep. And you can go tech my board. Uh, oh man. Yep. Yeah, that's just. I'm gonna do double damage against <laughs> structures or objects. Yep, and that's a that's an object. So one attack first because it might just kill it right off the bat. Spell skiff. Oh, hey, the diviner? Hey, what are you doing? Inside. He's going to make an arcana check to try to depower uh, one of the golems over here so they don't intervene. Alright. Does a 21 insight realize that Ek is not in his right mind? Maybe cool. if you did that on your turn. Yep. You yeah. have no reason until as this moment. As, know, it, it, no, as he comes up and hits my thing. Well, is, <laughs> after the first it. hit, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, natural twenty arcana check. Uh, let's do. What was it? There's a twenty-one insight as he's swinging it. <laughs> Did you take off this? Were there two gnomes? No. No, the what other gnome is now a giant gorilla. Oh, okay, okay. This gnome is gonna go <laughs> and literally misty step up here and like on the guy's back and just like go crawl into the golem and like start removing essential components. And that golem is currently. Yeah, in he this takes up control. Yeah, he's, 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 he's like, I know what this is. I, I, don't know if you I knew this was something in here. <laughs> Install this new device for a security. Bullshit. Always fucking nice shit. All right, so, um, by the way, who's in front of me? Um, what are these two here that are here? They're just. Those are, uh, those are evokers, yeah. Okay, are they friend or foe? They were friend. We're friend, they're friend, they're a friend of ours, so foe for you. They're foe for me? Foe for you, but they don't know that Perfect. they're foe. That's cool. I do. Then I'm going to be running past them at 15 feet or more uh, while in Earth, so they take 3d10 con damage. And they have to make a... Uh, uh, or force damage, sorry. And um, they have to make a... DC 8 plus, plus strength con. So let's see, it's 8 plus proficiency plus con. So it's 6 plus 6, 12. Uh, has to make a DC 20. DC 20, Jesus. Yeah, uh, constitution. Yep. With a plus one. Uh, strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Oh, even better. They rolled a nine and a five. 
3d10 force damage, not prone. They're prone. They, they've never been more okay. prone. You want me to do their damage? <laughs> 3D10. Yeah, do their damage. 3d10. Uh, they're taking 18, 22 points of of um, force, damage. force damage. 22 to either. They're not dead because okay. they're, they're relatively like... And that doesn't even take my action. That is just, no, that's just my, you my, running. my physical motion. Yeah. So, uh, and now I am now striking with... Yeah, uh, I'm going to say now you realize something's up as he just turned around and just ran over a couple of evokers. Okay. And <laughs> now my, my, my attack? Yes. Yeah, my on, your, on your skip, to your skiff. Yeah. Natural two. You're going, you're going reckless, dude. No, that, that I am. Okay, now it's probably going to totally hit. 16 plus 19. Yeah, it would have hit even with the two. Yeah, because it's a plus 19. It was an AC 15. Did you do Great Weapon Master? Because you would have done that too. Yes, I would have. So, so that's a disadvantage. That, no, that's hit. just minus five. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. Um, still would have hit. Still would have hit. Still would have hit. <laughs> All right. Damage. Damage yeah. for the first. Now, this does not count. I didn't get Slugger Strike on the equipment, so. No, it's not a living thing. No, so it's going to be uh, 1d12 plus. It's 11. We're doubling it, so we're going here. That would be 6. So that is 17 points of damage plus 14. It should be 2d12 because you're enlarged. I'm, oh. Your enlarge is specifically to your... Like All right, I've been trying to find it and I couldn't. Let me look okay. it up again. All right, so so it'd be okay. So two d twelve was eighteen uh, plus fourteen is thirty two points of damage times two because it's an object. Times two is sixty four. Is it is uh, how much does the board have? Uh, forty two. It's gone. It's gone. You literally one strike. <laughs> Go ahead and make a uh, make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Natural one. Natural one. Face first for the first time in your life. Uh, so that's a sixteen. Face first. It's a natural one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fitting for not expecting. Right. Yeah, uh, it, it really is. Prone. And prone. You have advantage. Roll an attack. You suck. And I am going. Weapon, uh, reckless. Great weapon master, yep, Great weapon and reckless. Master. reckless. And I'm getting slugger strike on this one. Yes, you are. A 14 plus 19. That's good. That's going to be 30 something to hit. Okay. Damn. Slugger strike, Great weapon masters. So rebarbs is a reaction roll uh -huh. again. Oh. So, face first, how do you activate your several bars? <laughs> <laughs> 20, 22 to hit. Miss. 22 misses? Yep. What's eight, your AC? Eight. My AC so is 24. Because nice. I have to take five off because of, ah. because of great weapon. So, this <laughs> way, after, after, like, after he like carves your like Yeah, he carves my board. I land flat on my back. I'm looking up at this Face door, first, face first. Barking over it. Up. <laughs> Eck? You will never eat another baked good as long as I draw breath. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the, the pixie inside. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Your, your hat definitely took damage from that attack. Yeah. Oh no, the pink fedora. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a pink fedora. That was just something I told you idiots to wear. <laughs> so, X, that is the end of your turn, unless you have anything else. Uh, <laughs> I hope not. I have no other way to take this. Uh, I have not used a bonus action, right? By the way, the surfboard went either direction. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's toast. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I have never... got more back on the Oh, ship, yeah, but, but just point is right now. It's, it's like gone. All right, so... Uh, it served its purpose well. Oh, yeah. But it was just a huge amount of movement that needed the end. It is a bonus action, all I have left, so... <laughs> I actually was wrong. It actually goes faster. I cannot do anything else. Speed of you can, but should you in buildings? <laughs> as long as I can make my acrobatics checks, so I the can. The faster you go and the more like turns you make, the DC yeah. goes up. That's why I was only making right. one turn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to continue my movement. Okay. And I'm going to move another 15 feet. And you're feet. mobile, so he, no so attack of opportunity. That's correct. And I'm not mobile. 
but it's called, if I make an attack, it's, it's uh, for fancy footwork. Ah, right. Well, you don't get attack opportunity because you don't, you don't get attack opportunity on me. You didn't hit me though. No, but you, I made an attack. attack, which is what counts. Is this attack or uh, that's right? Double you check, fancy you need to attack. So are you sure you're not mobile? Because I'm no, pretty sure you're mobile. What I got because I did. Uh, Give me your character sheet. Well, that's here. Fancy for you. You make an attack roll on someone. Uh, you can't make an opportunity against the direction of okay. During trades, you make a melee attack against a creature. Okay. And you hit her yeah. as well. Make a melee attack. And it's fancy footwork on my, on my okay. sheet. Okay, well, you also have feats, too. I believe you. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. So, I am now finishing my th run, and then let's see, there's anybody else here that's friend? <laughs> Uh, yeah, all the wizards no, just are on the floor. They're all on the floor. I'm over here. Yeah, I'm running. I'm finishing running this direction. Oh, they're over there. Now, yeah. when you run, you have to be all straight line. All right, so I'm going to continue this way. So I got 55, and I've moved from here. So as five, you know, it's 10, not a straight 50, line. That it's just yeah, you're moving. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I'm going straight to you. Because um, you're my next target, you're taking 3d10 for I'm in the midst of changing weapons right now. Constitution saving throw and any other... Uh, strength saving throw. Still, strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. And how many wizards got hit by that? How many... How, what's the radius? Within net five feet of me, right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that should you. just be me, then. I would assume it's in front within five feet of me. They would say. Um, I don't think it does. It see. should say. It will always say a range. Within 15, 15 feet, feet of your movement. Any point beyond the initial okay. 15. That is all the wizards. Yeah, yeah. So it's within 15, so it's everybody. That's okay. all the wizards. Yeah, 15 feet of me. Oh, me to me. Yep, even you. All right, so, so what am I rolling? Yeah, you don't want to be messing Straight with me. Yeah, Straight so saves. I'm just going to take that initial uh, uh, 20, uh, 22 damage for the uh, wizards. So take 22 damage, half yeah. if you succeeded, or is it no damage if you succeed? Half damage. Okay. I believe. So, uh, let me strength check. Saving uh, throw. Strength saving throw. Thirty. Thirty. Wait. Oh, um. Uh, no. It's it's your you all, take or it, all or nothing. All or nothing. Sparks. You take nothing. All the chairs that you're and tables you're standing on. DC twenty. Fucking just so terrorists pull yourself apart. <laughs> How much damage am I taking? Twenty-two. You. Force damage. You roll? Jesus. Oh, you, I thought we were just using the same roll. Yes, you yeah, so use the same oh. roll. Oh, same roll. You're yeah. right. 22. Because it's yeah, the same it roll. The same the movement. Yeah. 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 I, I, I already took it. Yeah. yeah. You talk sucker. So <laughs> now you know something definitely ain't right. Unless Sparks has been the insider this entire time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a paddling. Are you prone, by the way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we trapped him in the horse cage. <laughs> <laughs> you hear? <laughs> Inside the freaking uh, ball. The ball is bouncing, by the way. Boom, boom, boom. Because it's a beat of force. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, everything's over. We won sort of the treasure. That force cage comes out. I am going to wipe the floor with that motherfucker. And it's a charm effect, right? What? Yeah. Okay. Him? He is charming. You don't know what is going on with him, but you know something's going on. I know on something's off, but yeah. Okay. So that's the end of your turn. It is now the uh, the Two-Face guy's mass. He's currently blowing, which makes it easy for me to see. Yeah, he's currently smoking and floating. <laughs> uh, greater invisibility is not in uh, not a concentration. So... Yes, it is. Greater invisibility? Greater invisibility is totally concentration. Oh, my apologies. Then he's no longer invisible based off of uh, the, so the only thing is that you see him and stuff like that. So he's no longer invisible. Sorry about that. Because yeah. he's concentrating on the dominant person. So uh, you really will hit him. Yeah. It's all right. I ain't for him. It's fine. Um, yeah. So you the, 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 the floating guy up there. Yeah, floating guy. He's gonna come down. Uh, he's gonna just maneuver so that he's able to see. I uh, guess. He's gonna like, look out there uh, and cast fireball, and then mages go. Ah, uh, no, fuck off. No, <laughs> counter spell. Counter spell. Counter spell. One of the six mate. Uh, so the legend, the evoker on the floor, just like fuck you, dude. <laughs> fireball, counter spell, counter spell, your counter spell. Um, counter -spell. Natural eighteen. Literally, he goes and like lobs it. And, and he goes. Pew. Yeah, and, like <laughs> don't worry, it happens oh, to lots shit. of casters. <laughs> he looks back up. Uh, he, he's gonna float to over here now because he has sixty feet of movement. So he's just, uh, so he's, he's not gonna make that far because he moved forty down. So he's already cost uh, yeah, thirty or fifty. Right so he's not there. He's like, 
And the I can't fly terribly. The ape's gonna sit up. Look, he's trying to like he wasn't expecting a freaking. Nobody ever says that. Yes, Next round. Guess where I'm gonna be going? <laughs> no one expects the Silver Inquisition. All yeah. this guy. So <laughs> right through the middle. Of so this guy. Cage. Yeah, they're still in the oh, force wall. It's Gollum still is gonna right go uh, another sixty feet. Uh, actually, it's gonna go thirty feet. Who's can, uh, can he touch? The casters yeah. that are on the ground there. Yeah, he's gonna attack the casters uh, and with advantage because they're prone. Jeez, even with prone. Um, What's the AC? These guys, they're in freaking robes. They don't all AC as well. AC is like yeah. 12 to 15. Even that Arcanist guy only had an AC of 15. Yeah. Uh, yeah, these guys. So they get hit. They get pummeled. How much damage for uh, two tanks? I mean, they're still up that they took damage. They just are literally just stabbing <laughs> on the floor. A little bit of blood. I just, god damn, I just got my spleen back, man. Don't uh, worry, they grow back. So the illithid side <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on my beggar's half dozen. Jesus. <laughs> uh, soldiers, uh, they're going to just kind of lay their dump out in. Intellect of ours, uh, how many? There's two left. There's two left. They're going to charge. There are two casters. Yeah, they're going to charge the right two smartest people. Uh, there are two prone casters there. Da -da 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 -da. Brain cracks. Uh, devour intellect. <laughs> Make an intelligent saving throw. That's what they do. Yeah, both of them. They go literally a whole psychic scream towards the uh, through the two evokers, and the evokers are like, "Do you honestly believe I wouldn't put wards on my skull?" Thank you. That was an intro exam. I'm glad. <laughs> I like these people. Yeah. It's, it's like the, the harpal spell. That yeah, and it literally, it's two brain with their bowels. Oh, it's Jesus. a defense against the lithids, so when they burrow in and try and eat the brains, they get something really, really nasty in. tasting. Oh yeah. God! So the, guys all the 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 dwarf and literally a old that old human just like yeah, that was like intro exam because we were dealing with you guys. Fuck off. <laughs> I can see all the guys inside. The Inlithid scientist is going to remain a poster forever <laughs> <laughs> on that wall. The, the two, all the guys in the two boxes. Of That's going to be like when, when you're a freshman, you've really fucked up. They're going to give you a fly. You know, they're going to give you a, a, fl a set of ropes and a scroll of feather fall, and you have to be up there and scrub. So the apprentice wizards that are on the sideline, you notice a couple of them brought out a, a small little chair, and currently they popped popcorn, and they're just kind of eating right now with sunglasses. This is, this is good shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the guys in the in the cubes are like going, let us out, let us out, and then they see me going, oh, we're okay, we're okay, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're good, we're good. Uh, Sparks, yeah, is you your thought you'd be trapped in here. This is for your protection. We told them that. Actually, I see a lot no, of targets, and I'm trying to analyze the situation. You're an idiot. You'll figure it out at some point, and I trust that you will not be able to hit me. Pull. Brain crabs. At the, uh, what was your guy? Because Ooh. I see him. Ah. Skating across. You have this advantage. I am flying. You are flying, so do you leave his uh, opportunity? Opportunity attack? Uh, I'm not shooting him. You don't take damage if but you're But if you're within an aggressive person and you're shooting someone that's outside, he's going to get in your way. Yeah, he didn't take damage. Like okay. Good luck hitting me. I go up. Okay. Enough uh, to be away from his threat range. Make a grapple. Uh, he's... Okay. Tap like opportunity. Make a group? Oh, yeah. yeah, make a grapple. Mm -hmm. uh, make a athletics at advantage. Question. A athletics or acrobatics. He's already declared he's using great weapon mastery this turn. Therefore, I get advantage. Does against, he right? still take the penalty? But this is if someone attacks him. Okay. That doesn't affect for, like, grappling or oh, something like that. you lucky dog. <laughs> What's the, what's the skull again? Oh, I'm rolling a... Acrobatics uh, or athletics? Athletics. Athletics. Check, right? <clears throat> yeah. This is a check. Athletics. Skill. Okay, I rolled like crap. So did I. Who rolled crappier? What did you get? half-ass wrestling match I rolled, I've seen. I rolled a two on the die. So. I rolled a two on the die. This is a roll, like, <laughs> capabilities. Here we are. 
Come on, come on, Dylan. I got you pushing pencils no. again. Uh, 22. Wow, you have an insane bonus to that. <laughs> He's raging. Yeah, that was a 14 for me. So those handles are, you know those back handles? That yeah. other people gl- climb st- on you all the time. This is really not okay. I'm right still going up. I'm specialized yeah. in that. Oh no, you're not. He's Earth. Okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm still going up. Yeah. So uh, you can't carry 16 tons. Six thousand pounds. Six thousand pounds. Watch me. Have a day older, deeper. I count as a large creature whenever I'm trying to move something. You're right. So make a strength check. Oh my. But oh no. But rule mechanically, you are grappled. Your movement goes to zero. Okay, and I will carry him. Just shoot. You don't even care about being grappled. Just shoot. Yeah, fine. So, I, I, you don't grapple all the time. Yeah, you so just, I try to move. move. Yeah. He fine. Just, he grabs one of your hands. Roll a disadvantage. Fine. Yep. I need another die. Either don't you go. I can't go. You're gonna make me want to play Fallout. Come on, man. Does a 17 hit? <laughs> no. Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah. Bonus action reload. Speed. Well, actually, it does hit, but it like glances off of his body. It's it's very weird. Okay, how about a 27? 27 does hit. Okay. Third shot. Same thing. So using my wedge. Good. Remember, Master. it's a bonus action to reload this one. I know. I have two bonus actions. Yes, you do. That was not going to hit. So that's one hit, one shot. Uh, that means he needs to make a very, very annoying save. Which, when it comes to wizards, I don't think he has a good strength. And what does one shot do again? So, uh, one shot. So one shot is one, uh, da, 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 any creature behind half cover, nope. Uh, dealing with reduced damage, nope. Uh, alternatively, the creature, uh, if he's wearing armor, a uh, heavy armor, or is holding a shield, uh, you can decide to damage the gear in question. I don't think he is. Uh, it's all natural, baby. Uh, da, 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 reduce it by AC of 1 2. Uh, if the shield armor to your turn. Uh, da, 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 da. Reduce their AC by 1 3. If he's wearing armor. Oh, okay. This is his skill. Because if you hit the item question, you permanently damage the item, reducing the okay. AC by 1 to 2 points. Uh, that's just because I use anti armor rounds all the damn time. Uh, if the armor or shield in question uh, is enhanced and you still hit the creature, uh, the creature must make a strength saving throw with a DC equal to your attack roll. You know, I'm going to count that because this is sorcerer like enhancement stuff. I'll, I'll count that. the shield form directly away from them, uh, 1d6, or have the creature pushed or knocked prone. One f. Uh, this is just him getting hit. Yeah, because his, his naked AC is 19. I'm because his body is armor. Yeah. So I'm going to count that as like 10 it, foot knockback. Yeah, 10 foot knockback. So strength saving throw. Strength save equal to your attack roll. 27. <laughs> and not prone. And not prone. But he's flying, so, prone so he did, yeah, he does a blow, full blown like bat, like, like, yeah. bat flip, bat flip, black flip. <laughs> Ever see Harry Potter when they like they're flying around and they get hit? It's like Wah! And as a free action, I'm going to release my firearm and have it sling down beside me as I unsheath Mercy. Does he have to make us? Yes, he does. Roll your damage, by the way. Yeah. I think he's gonna make it, but. He, yeah, he has more casters, so he will use all my action search damage. Yeah, natural 20. So it doesn't matter. He rolled a natural 20. You're not going to do more than 40 damage. Uh, so, I mean, you hit him. <clears throat> yeah, so it's just it's just 3D, 3d8. Casters, am I right? Such an asshole. <laughs> Uh, 16 plus... Where are you? I haven't used Harp's current piece in a very long time. You want me to get back to you? Uh, it is... That plus... Where are you? There you are. It should be your dex modifier. We'll get back to you, alright? Alright. Okay, so that's going to be uh, 21. 21 total? 21 points per sink. Okay. You're actually hitting his body now. Like, he has no more wars. <laughs> That's a freaking the nuke. Uh, uh, I'm grappled, so I can't use any of my movements. Damn. No. 
Y- he's hugging you right now. Uh, so, Sparks, that's the end of your turn. I'm up in the air. He's grabbing my torso, and I'm just yeah, shooting like, over top. Of you're, like, you're trying to, like, fly up right now, but he's so fucking heavy. You're, yeah, and it's just, it's so unwieldy right now. Now I understand so, how it feels when I'm grappling people. So the, the uh, wood elf, the one with the uh, yellow fireball, is going to get up, look at Ek, that just did a fuck ton of damage to her, and she's going to look at you and go, oh, son of a... and do uh, fifth level uh, dispel magic. Ek, you're no longer a uh, dominated person. I'm not seeing the one with the fireball. Good! You got it! It's the one with the fireball should be somewhere over there. Man, I'm strong. Look at me, I'm holding up sparks. As I'm literally flying. <laughs> it looks like I'm holding you oh, up. Oh, I got though. it. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah, she got knocked back. It's like, what? <laughs> Yeah, so, I think she did, because otherwise I was going to just, I was probably going to throw them. sparks against yeah. the, and then uh, start running around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am literally a siege weapon on uh, on feet. So we have two when mobile I'm, siege when weapons. Earth, when, I, when I'm Earth. We have two but mobile move, siege weapons. But I can move at 55, and that's the thing. I have verticality. Uh, what is and the... I oh, 16. Yeah, you have verticality. Oh, I missed it. I, so... Because I'm like, I just run past people. Like, okay, I'm just going to say... Not incredibly mobile. The other golem powers down because a transmutation wizard that I forgot uh, deactivates. So go to put in a, um, a miniature that I did not touch and just put uh, put that on the, on the freaking uh, golem. I'll just do that. Yeah, because I uh, forgot there's a transmuter and a wood elf wizard that I uh, passed, but I'm going to say that it's due to the explosion. There, there they got my prize. Yeah. So uh, now. I'm stunned. I'm, you see the explosion? I'm stunned. Yeah, they're, they're all like giddy. Like, I've been talking. Like, we've been doing research to do that shit and like, woohoo! Ah, cast a ninth level spell! <laughs> write that shit down. <laughs> write it down, write it down! Dude, and they're like, do I, bring do it I out tell cool. them now that that's not my fourth one today? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they can bring that like uh, readout of like you know radioactivity for like arcane and stuff like that. Wow, it really did a number on the wheel. <laughs> one, one of them is like points at me and goes, "Hey, did you guys see that guy's eye? There's something weird with his eye. <laughs> it's like a little. It's like the berries are swollen or something." Like that. Oh god! <laughs> All right, so the <laughs> the gorilla is gonna get up, and and smash that, and, and then see the freaking wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a couple more credits. Right, 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 right. right. Oh, yeah. perfect. Speedball. It's right. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Speedbag that shit. <laughs> a roll day attack made two fist attacks. It casts fist. <laughs> Twice. Come on, polymorph wizards. You know they're going to be doing weird so shit. So it's fisting the wizard? Oh! Womp womp. 17 plus 9 and 19 plus 9. 19 plus 9 will hit. 17 plus 9 doesn't hit. 26. 26. Oh, oh 17 plus 9? Yeah. 26? Uh, that will hit. Both of them hit. So yeah, it's just literally just... <laughs> you need 10 plus 6 on each of those. Ouch. Yeah. yeah which is right. And then Quinn, it's your turn. It's, it's, uh, it's Vedic, good. it's your turn after that. How long does this force cage last? Long enough. Oh, a long time. Okay. An hour. So they're just going to sit here and watch this entire yeah, go down and just... <laughs> yeah, they, they know they're fired. <laughs> <laughs> so, seven. Did you let yourself get captured after they got in here? And then they trashed the place? 17 and 25 from the two 17 days. and 25, Jesus. And now my turn. Yep. I get. Uh, I roll up to my feet, yep. march over to Eck, and say, Ecclestein, Dillingham, Elizabeth, Bog Stomper. Remember who your friends are, and I cast protection from evil and good, which blocks him from mental compulsions. <laughs> nice. That's very nice. nice. You're so friendly. <laughs> Can you let go of me and now? And also, it is now you're like that your full name is Ecclestein Dillingham Elizabeth Bogstomper. <laughs> By the way, Eck, you're currently standing on one right? of the wizards, and the wizard's like, get off of me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right. I see the um, <laughs> And then I'm going to bonus action Misty step into here. Done. Uh, make another perception check. Thank you. Because he had to make another uh, stealth check because after the place got glass. It's rolling, it's really good because that's a 32. 32? Place this guy. 
40 feet up on the wall right here. As he's physically like climbing the wall. Where? Here? Yeah, about there. As he's currently just full blown like animalistic, you see a human, or at least what used to be human, in just tattered rags of clothing that he has ripped across it himself. And you see his, both his, um, uh, beyond his kneecaps and elbow joints, it has been mentally re replaced with like robotic and like uh, steampunk metal arms and legs that have extra joints in it. And he's just like, <laughs> and is currently just crawling animalistically on sideways on the wall. Uh, my remaining bonus action, mm -hmm. I'm going to use unsettling words. Okay. And I'm going to describe in detail the things I'm going to do to that guy's mother. <laughs> and he's going to subtract a d12 from the next saving throw he makes. Is there any saving throw? There's not. It's bardic, It's my bardic inspiration against someone. Jeez. Messed up. He just goes, hey, sounds like Tuesday. <laughs> no, no. Tuesday, she does it to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that, that's the, like, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Finley, Todd, Vedic. Uh, oh, I skipped one thing before you do it. You see this beforehand, uh, and it's before Quinn's turn, actually, so do it. You see the crystal right here mm -hmm. begins to one of the phylacteries that it's chained up to. You see the chains tighten around it as you see the soul energies pulse inside of it, and you hear, wait, wait, no, echoing another lich somewhere out, out in the city. I have served you! Absorbs the phylactery. Yep. Or begins to, and with a natural chains. six, that's not a high enough arcana. So Time it's big. break the chains! Yep. So she's not able to break it. So she does not absorb it yet. But you just hear like, wait, no! And you can hear him just begin to panic somewhere other than that you haven't met yet. Okay. Oh, Vedic, it is your turn. Okay. So are we just going to go lich hunting after this again? I mean, everyone's got to have a hobby, right? Yeah. Kill the biggest one. I'll be, all, I'll be down to go get, kill some more liches. It's going to be that... We had a campaign where all of us contracted lichen sort of <laughs> so we became vampire hunters. Bang! Nice. Home honey and high! Makes <laughs> sense. Make a nice. perception check. Okay. Did so you have high enough arcana to understand it? Oh, I have blind sight. Yes. But everything else is dead in the room apart from the two like sources. Alright. Perception is not great. Twenty-two? Twenty-two. I'm gonna give it to you because uh, the DC is the spell level. So twenty-two. You notice that there's one more ward on the flight. It's a powerful which, which okay, ward on, on the, the big phylactery. On the big phylactery. It is invulnerable to all damage. It's a ninth level spell. Global invulnerability? No, this is no, the, the something else. Yeah, this is a ninth level one of like basically I'm immune to all damage. Yeah, Not exactly, conditions. It's called invulnerability. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And it lasts for and like right. 10 minutes. Like, it's a really long... As soon as she died, a okay, bunch of, like... Spell it? A bunch of pre predetermined spells already went off. Yeah. Like, a bunch of contingency spells went off okay. as soon as but she we'll, like, lost her magic. Get rid of it. I don't think so. That's a really awful, That's a really awful spell. Doesn't matter. A ninth level dispel magic? Doesn't matter. You can roll an arcana. We'll deal with that later. Let's finish the shit in the room. Yeah. But you notice the chains are not hit with that same ability. So break the chains. Okay, well, I'm... I mean, that's the end of my movement at this point, so that's that's as far as I go. Uh, but uh, I'm going to reach into... <laughs> reach into like, he's he's big drag at this point, still so reaches into his itty-bitty little, yeah, little, 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 little satchel thing and pulls out this little scroll and lights up. Um, telekinesis. Telekinesis! Nice! Now, I will say pretty much everything, by the way, toss everything. Like the things that were standing on in the <laughs> chairs, just wreck the place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> like the place just got hit with meteor swarm, oh, guys. Yeah, just go ahead and take one of those off. Yeah. Like toss the fucking place. Yeah. Like any tables, throw them across the room. Excellent. Ah, see you there. All right, no, I'm gonna grab shithead up on the wall. Telekinesis, so I believe that's an imposed. Yeah, he's got to make a strength check. 
against my state. Oh, God. His strength is not his support day. No! He has a plus zero! He rolled a natural four! <laughs> no, that does not get So you. there's nothing like, even with natural four. So you go on. So describe your hand, by the way, your telekinesis. Or just telekinesis. Oh, I see this big, great big golden dragon, through, like spectral dragon claw. It goes clerk, bit. And you, he grabs you. <laughs> well, he is going to do one thing. He's going to try to dispel it. <laughs> or uh, counter spell, I should say. Oh. Okay. His okay. reaction is he within sixty feet? That's oh yeah, question. I think so. I think uh, so. Probably. Mm, I, I don't have the sixteen. Well, he's only about forty-five. Okay, okay. so yeah, he's, 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 he's going to counter spell at third level. It's sixty footer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's within sixty. So he only has a plus uh, four to it. So that was a what level spell? Five. Five. So he needs to roll eleven or higher. That's eleven. Exactly. So re roll it. Oh. No, I'll just roll it right here for you. What is it? Also an 11. Or was it? It was an 11, yes. Shit. He's going to dispel and uh, counter spell, yeah? So as soon as counter it's spell. hot... I will counter spell his counter spell. Ooh! No, so... wait, shh! Uh, oh, no, I have the item. Uh, yes, I can. I've been thinking about that. Yes, I still can counter spell. What item are you talking about, Bob? Do, 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 do. What a counter spell, motherfucker! Why do I give you shit? I don't <laughs> so as soon as he grabs him, you, you notice. But that I think he, that's my last charge. So as soon as you're telling me to uh, grabs him, you notice that his uh, mechanical legs like revert and like start rotating like inner like d like like uh, like uh, grinding devices just for raw ar arcane, and it starts to like like eat your freaking magic. And then suddenly you're just like, wait a minute, hold on. If I just stop trying to find it and just overload it, he's like, and he's like, that's he not quite right. Yeah, you just overload his capability of being able to eat your magic. Yeah. Ah! And now you're like just holding a screaming All like. Right. Oh, you oh, you oh, oh, no, 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 I believe okay. I believe that's a tossing effect. If that's a yeah, you can move the creature up to thirty feet in any direction and upward, upward, but not beyond the range of the spell. But if he's clinging to the wall, move him thirty feet out from the wall and drop him. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And then he's already removed. He's already used his reaction, so he can't do feather fall. So uh, saving throw, natural one, face fucking like head into the floor. So that was uh, 30 feet, though, so that's 3d6. Ow. I want my bunny back. 6, 6, four, uh, six four, 4, So that's 14. That's still a concentration check. Is he a uh, warcaster? Let me double check. Uh, alert. Mage Slayer. No, he's a Mage Slayer, so. That's problematic. The bunny is back! <laughs> Put her on the uh, first platform. Right there. Bzz. Oh my god, what the hell happened? <laughs> she's got the four. She's got like paperwork. She's got a stack of paperwork this big. And she's got like, like two And she's very it. obviously ready to turn it in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll have to do this all again. Because as soon as you leave, it changes. You yeah. know, it's one of those things of. Hey, hey, right. This is last week's paperwork? Yeah. She was about to get a sign from Zaf. <laughs> Because <laughs> he rolled rolls, a natural so two, so yeah, that right, failed. Nobody have a thought. What? <laughs> Venek, is that your turn? That is my entire turn. Yes. That's your entire turn. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, it is now the Severed Limbs Tracker Exotic Claw, so that's this guy. That This guy immediately pounces up like a freaking rabbit raccoon and just turn it around and uh, he's gonna go <laughs> and just like like freaking animalistically run towards you like a freaking Tasmanian Daredevil. Okay. Uh, How far does he get? Yeah, he's gonna, he's just gonna freaking uh, come up to you, bounce, jump, and just try to freaking sucker punch you. Okay. This guy, right? He does not have very good survival instincts. <laughs> so Let me tell you how this is gonna go. Right, yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you just threatened a dragon to a fist fight. Let me tell you how this is going to go. <laughs> so, disadvantage, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, still a 17. Does not hit. Uh, no, 17 plus 11. 
28. I, I was reading off natural. Yeah, that totally hits. Yeah. And okay, so he's no longer at disadvantage. He's no longer at disadvantage. All right. And I am out of uh, my rerolls. Uh, did you? Uh, I, don't know I am you completely out of ability, ways to make people reroll shit, by the way. So am I. I don't know if you remember to take a d12 off of his last saving throw, or you can just take it off of his next one. Oh, uh, he made a uh, concentration check, so with a natural two, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next one is a natural one. Okay. He forgot to how he forgets how to stick the landing. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Double checking how to do artificers. Uh, yeah, he has a plus two resistance boots. Ah, okay. So that is 1d8 plus another d8 plus another d8. Resistance, enhance, enhance, weapons. Armor's a magical strength. <laughs> Tanya wants it confirmed that she still has all of the forms in her inventory. Oh, yes. She <laughs> can, but it's not going to be good when she gets back. <laughs> I'm sorry. These are dated last week. Uh, uh, this will need to fill them out again. No, these are dated This was the ones from three hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shadow fell. It's going to be depressing as fuck. You signed a form number F276493 22, subsection 8, using to complete it within the previous hour due to the incident before you are allowed to travel between dimensions. I'm sorry, you're going to have to go redo those. <laughs> Here, take this letter and stand back at the end of the line when you're doing <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, uh, every hour. 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Oh, sorry, the thunder damage. Thunder! Thunder! You do not have the forms currently presented, then you must return and to the line with the forms. So he lands on the floor and just kind of screams like a little muppet. Like, Because nah! he did not stick the landing. Who wants this one? I'll take it. Uh, I'm just going to find a good use of the record in peace. Boop! Uh, Eric, it's your turn. Relevant. I'm holding on to sparks. But you know, let's move yourself go. Out. Oh. All right. Uh, you don't want to be thrown? I was about to throw you, apparently. Oh, okay. I'm flying. <laughs> flying rigid. <laughs> <laughs> Just lock it all down with damn spear at this point. Bonus action change from Earth. Well, actually, I got to figure out what's going on. Who's the? Who's the? Uh, I don't remember. Do I remember? I uh, actually. Oh, I you remember I everything. Remember. I remember everything. Okay, so throw him at the caster. You, so, got, you got a line of effect. Where, where's the <laughs> caster? Yeah, he's, no, no, he's floating up there. Oh, the other one. Fuck he's yeah. being just freaking cool. daisy chased. He's, he's being speed <laughs> <by the guy>. <laughs> 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 yep. Keep speeding. Yeah, all right. So I'm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna throw. Throw uh, sparks. Make a uh, athletics check. With advantage, because you're raging. I'm going to assist him. No. <laughs> I'm going to... So the first roll was an 18, the second roll was natural 20. Natural. Wow. Move him 60 there. feet. So athletics check. I have to give to that number, by the way. Spark, I have to. Uh, no, at move him 60 feet of, of where you're throwing. 40, that would be a 45. Jesus. Because it's five on the no, I, yeah. <laughs> no, I do eighty feet for that. That's um, gonna be at the target. He's yeah. at him. He's at him. That's yeah. at the target. <laughs> so, <laughs> describe me how you do this. <laughs> As you take a seven foot long, uh, seven foot long, seven Well, I, 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 I don't have a rope onto him, but I do have a, I do have, a, I do have one of the candles. candles. I have one of those handles, so yes, I start spinning around and around and around in circles, and and uh, you know what? It's one of these where I bring him down, and so so he's now going around me like like a <laughs> Yeah, make a constitution. And right behind him, I'm running as well. <laughs> but you wait, aren't you really fast? Like you like can keep up with him as you run? No, um, you, I said bonus action. I'm changing off. I'm changing out of earth. Con save? Yeah. To what? To not passing out. G-forces, man. 
28. Yeah, you're good. You know, I it's still not that. fun Just to be clear. in here. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. You never felt these G-forces before, and now you have the, the flashback to Finley when he did this, and you're like, damn, Finley's pretty awesome. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Uh, I understand what you're giving Sonic boom. <laughs> <laughs> I shot you. I hit you once. Now I throw myself. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger bullet. Sparks. <laughs> as soon as I let go, that's I assume that's my Use your head. Oh, I don't want to use my head. My entire combat action, my bonus action, I turn myself to air and I run right behind him. <laughs> so you just got to run next, next to him. <laughs> 150 or no, you know, doubled to 110. I'm, I'm going to be straight honest to you. The only reason why this is possible is go? because of the fly spell. Where do you want to go? I had no map. I'm going all the way up there, on the yeah. other side of, yeah, right there. Dude, dude, 110. So this weird of like shock putting and then chasing the shock putting device. <laughs> so you good? It's good? Have you ever tried to line it? <laughs> yeah. it's like, when you're playing a shooter and you throw a grenade to kill an enemy and then you try to race your grenade to the kill. <laughs> Yeah, I've done that too many times. Now, when you get to your target, I want you to beat the shit out of it, all right? <laughs> Big plate. <laughs> Again, these are part of Worcesters are just going... <laughs> Remember, everyone, you can choose whether or not it is the Pink Panther theme, the Mission Impossible theme, or the Benny Hill theme. Brian, yeah. Kevin, am I wrong to say you that if you were at college this, and like, something like this happened, would you leave? No. No. <laughs> You have no control over this. Yeah, no, like, I would be a hand, walking over to the wizards and handing them stuff. Try this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Anyway. Spell components? No, no, I'm right here for you. I've got it. Yes, sir. You bet. I think we can all agree that eventually it always devolves into the Benny Hill thing. <laughs> so this is when that baseball. So you come up right as, uh, to the wizard right. as it's his uh, draconic wizard's turn. Uh, so the I guy do, 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 as it, <laughs> he's just getting battered left, right, and center. It, after you get past, he's gonna know what I'm tired of there. Um, he's gonna do a sixty foot line of wall of force. But before that happens, uh, how many wizards? No, two evokers are gonna say no. They're still prone on the ground. Yeah, they're, they're still, still prone on the ground. Sixty foot yeah. line of wall of force. Where they're gonna counter spell. It's not gonna matter. Yeah, no. Unless they still want to counter spell. Uh, so failed on one. Second reaction. Uh, failed on the second. Is there any other wizard that's within sixty feet? Yep. Uh, I mean me, but I've used all my reactions and stuff. So, bunny, I have my reaction. Can the bunny counter spell? I can. No, I can. You can. What right. like? It's the second level I have to roll it. Where are you? Oh, you mean third level? Third. Yeah, third level. Third. Third. Where are you? So, oh, you're right this there. is a wall force. Oh, yeah. Natural 18. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, several counter spells. He, he, he's a good wizard. Yeah. Well, he's not a good wizard, but he knows his shit. Yes, so he wizard. he make, he counters it with some more weird really draw to <laughs> so, chronic magic. So those magic. two invokers, they're like, counter spell, counter spell. They both feel like turtle gentlemen. Counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna be a dick. He counter spells it. Okay. I got nothing. I got nothing. Well, there's gotta be someone that can counter spell. Counter No, no, hold on. He's being battered right now. He can't do that right now. <laughs> he do, 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 do. He's being. I'm gonna say he can't do that right now. Okay. So you counter spell it, and it just fizzles. He's like, mother, son of a whore! You're a damn. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna. If you're in a fair fight, it's your own fault. He's That's gonna try problems. to fly away. The ape is gonna go for a grapple. <laughs> <laughs> so make a, I'm not gonna, gonna be aware of that. Make athletics. He's gonna do a acrobatics. Nice. Twenty-four. Oh, even with a natural eighteen. Oh, twenty-two. He gets grappled. He's like. Ah! <laughs> Ah. <laughs> well, we'll get to that. No, no, no. he's gonna bam, bam, and bam, bam, bam. bam. <laughs> Just hit the ground with him. They're not having a good time. They're not having a good time. Oh my God, he's now grappled, which means you have an advantage to hit him. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, that's not a thing in five B. Uh, no, 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 not really. However, depending on the situation, I get does an advantage. Does he also deal damage with the grappling? Not. Uh, not all monsters, no. Doesn't matter, I'll get uh, advantage easy on uh, different ways. Yeah, soldiers are done. Intellect about are there any intellect about There are two, still. Yeah, uh, so they're seeing all that happening. They see 
Uh, they're uh, they're smart too, they're creatures. They're still too prone casters because you yeah, can't give them an actual turn. They, it's so ineffective that, and they're smart enough creatures to be like, all right, well, maybe not these guys. Um, uh, they're gonna go after. The apprentices. They can handle two intellect devourers. What am I? Oh, that's an intellect devourer. Uh, they're gonna go after. Uh, yeah, no, they're gonna call and run out. Uh, sixty feet of movement. Well, they're gonna get there. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, but that's her dash, dash uh, action. Okay, there. That's that's right. Right. <laughs> so in there, cheerily, you bother like, oh shit. <laughs> All right, so students, your lesson today, self-preservation, please <laughs> reduce. <laughs> Not everyone, it's in the contract that they signed that there is no guarantee that you'll survive yeah. school in wizard. <laughs> so this your midterm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, illicit scientist, dead. The pass- wizard, passing this so- test is mandatory for surviving. <laughs> Passing this test is mandatory for continuing the program. Yeah. Uh, one of the uh, intellect devourers gone. As the intellect lizard literally just <laughs> fireball, and literally all three at the same one, and then <laughs> just freaking goo everywhere. Nice. Oh, those two. There's two of them. Yeah, but they, they have around the same one. Yeah, they all, they know they're smart enough like target individual creatures. Mm-hmm. Kill it. Of course, they say, right one, right one, right one, and then they start going. <laughs> no, there's that one guy who doesn't know his right from his left. <laughs> Notice they all went left. <laughs> Alright, uh, so yeah, another, so, left one, so yeah. we get to the lich bitch. She's going to try to consume the soul again. Oh, shit. Speed! Ten, Speed! And ten. She does not consume it. <laughs> she just you he just hear your soul is mine and you just hear no 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 not the deal <laughs> and you just hear the like internal struggle of like one soul not pr- uh, in the jaws of like a shark yeah, trying to be consumed Great, it's what? your turn so she still can't consume this fucking soul 60 should be over there and what's worse is that the other two uh phylacteries the other two phylacteries, mm-hmm. they're empty. Because Todd has them. Oh, oh. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's funny. funny. That's cool. Yeah. That's funny. So if any like, oh, they they're like, can go to other phylacteries. They're empty right now. <laughs> I, so Quinn wanders up to about there and mm-hmm. looks at this, me- this metal chain that you described. This metal chain that is this rope here. Yeah. Yeah. Heat metal. Oh. I'm going to melt it. Solid. 78 points of fire damage. All of it. Yeah. Take all the rope off. It just turns the metal and slag. Oh. Doesn't hurt the phylacteries too Doesn't much. Doesn't hurt the phylacteries too much, but she probably can't absorb them now. Nope. You just hear a draconic roar that echoes into five dimensions yeah. on the other side. Yeah. Hey, nice. bitch. You're staying in your crystal. And you can see the, inside the reflective uh, nature of the phylactery. You see like the her upper, of her. Kind of like, or she has rebuilt her upper torso and is almost like ready to come out. She is, she is that close. She is that close. She's on her way out. She, hmm? She's on her way out. <laughs> <laughs> but she, if she absorbed that phylactery, she'd be back. Mm-hmm. Now, not at full, like whole full hit points yet, but not like full casting capabilities. But still a problem and a half. Yeah. Yeah, we're close. And I just, I'm, I'm uh, rifling through my pouch and pulling out these rune stones that mm-hmm. they've been carrying around since the orc oh, battle. The, uh, the orcish rune stones yeah. that are like over a thousand years old. Remember the orc king guy that we fought yeah. and I got harpooned twice? Yeah, yeah, I vaguely I, I really remember I what you're talking about. Runes. I don't remember what the rune stones do. They're spell stones. They're like scrolls oh, that okay, anybody cool. can use. And I have yeah, three of spell, of... three of dispel magic. Uh, one of fire shield, one of flesh to stone. What did we determine the other one was? Uh, ban- and one of banishment. Right. And I'm sitting there just twiddling them in my oh, hand. That's, that is all that's a good look at. Like, what do you got? So it is got? Finley, Todd. Uh, right. Todd right. is going to go fucking, like, Okay, let's just put it this way. She's get gonna, in the lamp. Yeah, well, get in the lamp. No, she's going to look at the person that banished. Uh, so the guy on the floor that's screaming in front of you, just full blown anime. Uh, ta- uh, can you roll? Yep. With advantage because he's prone on the floor. Oh god. All right. Um. 
Wouldn't matter because she's going to do. What is she going to do? She doesn't seem to have a sword that does Give him a big damage, yeah. yeah. Rabbit hawk. A very bony yeah. face. She's got that fancy weapons. crazy sword. Expertise, rogue. She will uh, stab Give twice. Me a second. Fighters, there's so much going on in this character. Sheet. I mean, yes. She had a lot. She would stab in this. She has spells? Yes. Yeah, Alright, right, I'm done. I'm done. Right, right, she's going to stab and try and activate. I think she'd stab and try and activate the sword. Yes, the moon blade. Yeah, I don't. I will have to go. I'll have to go look up the sword. Just stab it. That's just we're not going to. We're not going to do the moon just blade because him. we don't have the actual. Okay. Um, so this him. is going to be the draconic sword. Okay. So if you roll a nineteen or higher, it's a crit, and you roll twice because advantage. Oh, and twice. Yeah. Uh, fifteen plus, I guess sixteen. No, that can't be right. Six, twelve, six, two. Minus six, four, four because she's sword. Minus four because minus we've, four, she's revivified. Oh, revivified. So, so brought back. So, what is that? Fifteen 22. plus twelve. Twenty-one. Fifteen plus twelve. Yeah, fifteen plus twelve. Oh, jeez. Minus four. That no, was with minus. That no, was with minus four. Right. Fifteen plus twelve. Twenty-seven. 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 Twenty-seven hits. Second attack. Because bonus action attacks. Uh, it was much better on that roll. Was not it a 19? No, it was not a crit. So that's two hits. Okay. So the Draconic Sword doesn't activate, but roll two attacks with the dagger plus sneak <laughs> attack, which is like... I don't have her her weapons are... Uh, the weapon would just be a uh, rapier. So it would be D8. A Dragon Tooth Rapier. So attack and damage rolls. 5D10 Lightning if it goes off. Which it didn't. All right. So D8 plus... Plus her dex. Plus her dex, plus two. Plus sneak yes. attack. Plus sneak attack. So it's 2d8, plus two dexes, plus uh, the, her sneak attack. Yeah, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, okay. Do you so, need extra dice? I will need sneak attack dice, yes. So um, I'm going to move on to the evokers while you're doing that. The two evokers are going to stand up. How much sneak attack does she get? I think like 86. Okay, you know, four. I, I got it, I got it, I got it. Sneak attack is 96. <laughs> okay. You're stand up. Oh, my back. Look over to the intellect devourer that are chasing towards the uh, going like, Yep, entry exam, bitches. Come on. Stop eating popcorn. <laughs> ah. I got it. I'm going to be a professor emeritus at this place by the time this is over. Oh, I'm thinking we're going to take this place over and teach them ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> you can't but you kill, we're bitch. Going, I'm going to add a performing arts degree. <laughs> <laughs> over my dead body. When I kill on stage, I really kill on stage. <laughs> the, these two evokers get inside and go, holy <laughs> hell. <laughs> it's just crazy. How is this room still alive? Scorch, 63 damage. Hold 63 ground. damage. Train everywhere. If you're not flying, you're falling. Guarantee he drops his uh, concentration on anything he might have had. Well, he was concentrating on the banishment, and he's dropped yeah. that. And now he wishes he were still concentrating. <laughs> so he's still alive, but he's he got stabbed and then so and then Todd has enough movement to dip out. Uh, so we're gonna move Todd like I don't know, like over here. Wow. Yeah, she's also filling her pockets. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> close enough to be close enough to the lich bitch. Actually, no, she's gonna be. She right. wants that flag right. right. She wants that flag She's just like right. She's like, like trying to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just like ready, and she's like already got several soul coins out. <laughs> Is it that center one that, that they, she it's was going after? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the one over here. For the other, no, the it's the giant two. crystal one. Okay. Yeah, the other two are the other two glitches she already has. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now she's gonna actually. Oh, yeah. No, no, she's absolutely trying to pry this. She got like you know where the crowbar came from. She drew it. <laughs> she drew it. She yeah. the crowbar. <laughs> she drew it. Yeah. Oversized crowbar. She wedges up in there and bounces on the far end. Yeah. <laughs> then again, it's your turn. Oh Finn. my god. Yeah. I don't actually, okay. No, uh, remove that last intellect devourer because Finley goes over and just goes stabity stab. Okay. Yay, Finley gets killed. Hey, he participated. Um, I'm going to continue to maul the thing in front of me. Okay. 
Dragon mauling. Worse than bear mauling. Uh, Not quite to the beholder mauling. Significantly mauling. less survivable. Yes. A lot less survivable. how this works. Um, does a 26 hit? Yes. Does a 24 hit? No. Oh, wait, wait, I need to be rolling with advantage, don't I? Yes. Okay. Because so he's down! Oh, yeah, he's housed. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, I mean, he tries shielding, so 25, but you, yeah, you're, you're above that. I, you're yes, getting mauled by a dragon. dragon. But that was my lowest roll. Yeah. You were literally getting mauled by a dragon. Yeah. Well, that's what you get. Actually, I need D10. Sorry. Four. I will get used to throwing these. I really will. Um, 48. Um, now, these guys were deadly. Like, um, ten, like, almost ten levels ago. 57. 57? Okay. Oof. He's still here. Okay, well, that's all I can do this round. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, 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 like, he, like, admittedly, the only how thing he's doing is you just, like, kind of poke him, or do you go full blow? Oh, you try to die, 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 die. Grab him with your heads, like, rolling around on the floor, kind of, like, dragging him around on the oh, floor, yeah. like, doing that, like, tiger thing where you just pull with your claws away from your mouth. Yeah, like, oof. Rending. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> It's very rare that you get a chance to actually sink your teeth into something. Uh, he, uh, so that separate living tracker guy uh, is going to try to misty step away. All right. Yeah. So 30 feet away on uh, literally right there. Like over here. Just zap him away. And he's going to cast. 30 feet? Yeah. 30 feet's not big. 30 yeah. feet's not big, but he doesn't take that opportunity to attack. It's 40. No, I know. I That's know. about right. But since he cast a spell as a bonus action, he can only do a cantrip action spell. <sighs> no, who's looking hurt? Not many people are looking hurt after that juggle, uh, juggle fest of... Uh, I could have been on one hit point this entire time and still in fine. I'm not taking any damage. What does he have again? This onslaught over here wouldn't have fun. Oh, I know what he has. I would have liked a curb stomp spell that just for the dragon. He grabs out a familiar iron ball. I can probably handle all oh, of those. Oh. And he's going to chuck it at you. Yeah. Is there a save on that? It's just a AC attack. There's a maximum size on it, though, isn't there? Not when they can prepare it for a specific God dragon size bullshit. God damn it. He was going to throw it on you if he didn't get meteor struck right away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why he was up on the ceiling. They call that an alpha strike. Yeah. <laughs> alpha strike, yeah. So, uh, we, can't, we begin our attack by nuking the site from orbit. <laughs> <laughs> we will then nuke it so again. He has plus so 11. On the ground. I'm going to be straight up to you. He has a plus 11 to hit. Okay, I have a 24 armor class. Does he have disadvantage? You bet. When does your blur uh, blur effect come back? Because he hit you last year. It hits me when it comes back at my turn. Ah, so, okay. So he still has disadvantage. Oh, uh, his body, uh, even though he's being bodied, is going to do a luck. All right. So he just rolls again. Bodied. That's a natural twenty. But he still uses the lures to die. No. That luck? No. Luck you roll is disadvantage, open. you roll the luck, you take the lucky roll. Alright, so he yeah. hits me. You turn we're good. Disadvantage yeah. super advantage. No, you're not host yet. It's just he hits you and immediately <laughs> it starts binding your body up. You're currently grappled and restrained. But you have one strength check or casting capabilities before it truly binds you. You can miss the door out of it. You know, I can miss this step. Yeah, miss this step. That's why it doesn't really work on like casters, but it is a fucking annoying thing. It, it wastes an action. So Someone yeah. like me would struggle. Yeah. Uh, the, have, the, the, I that's his have, turn. Have, hey, it, uh, it is your turn. I forget I have Misty Staff. Who? I have I have a, the, a floating wizard in front of me. <laughs> yes. Shatter up. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to now... Welcome to X Cooking Show. We are first going to slice and dice. First, and Julia and the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So Taking we, care so to set the liver aside. <laughs> it's already spinning. Or okay. okay. well, Julian. We're going to peel it like an apple. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we are. Uh, so, I'm going... Uh, uh, 
I guess I don't. I have to do reckless to get advantage. So. You're, uh, is flanking not a thing? No. Flanking is a thing. Oh, okay. In my, in, it's optional. Okay. Okay. So I, don't have, I, don't have to, I don't have to go reckless then. No, you don't. Okay. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Indeed. 28 to hit. 28? Yep. Yeah, hits. Okay, that's first attack. That's going to get my slugger strike. Yep, because it has a, you had advantage. Roll your second hit, too. I forgot the 2d6 lightning, too. Roll the second hit, too? Yeah, oh, boy. Hit. All right, we'll check here. Second hit to see if it hits. 29 to hit. Hits. <clears throat> he can't do anything about it. Okay. All right, so 2d6 lightning. 2d6 shoulders. <clears throat> 1d12. The first hit. That would be a 12 on the 12. Damn. Unfortunately, not too good on the rest of the sixes. You did the extra D12, uh, D12 for the enlarged, oh, right? Oh, no, I have not. That would be a second 12. So it's 24, 25, 20, uh, 20, 24, 25, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34 plus 14, 34 plus 14. 44, 40, 48 points of damage. Assuming okay. he's not... He's not dead yet. Lightning does not a thing that... He, he, okay. he still takes damage from lightning. Okay. So you just take out your shoulder strike and roll. So I'm going to say, can you do less than 13 on the second hit? No. Nope. You name, one name is that. end. <laughs> name is end. Name is end. All right, so... I like to think of him as a lightly spinning pulp. <laughs> I like well, the idea of just hold the blade up, let him spin, and just peel the. Uh, out. The first, the first, the first strike. Then we're gonna get a little. The first strike, he's he reaches out to oh, so as if he's gonna cast. Mm -hmm. Boom! Arm comes off. Oof. Second strike, he goes to like emote like he's gonna do a do a voice of uh, something that doesn't require semantics. Boom! Jaw gone. Oh, a head off. And his body still kind of floats in the air because of other magical... He drank a potion in order to have flying capabilities. So now his body is just like floating in air before the magical capabilities came off because he comes to an object and he hits the floor like a bag of potatoes. How long does the arterial spray maintain enough <laughs> like, pressure to keep him spinning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, you've removed the head, so now it's got a direction, so it's going to like... <laughs> 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 Who's Where's concentrating it? on his flying spell? He's like a potion. Oh, yeah. Well, that's him. Your kill. I'm going to say, at the end of this turn, because that is him, then it goes to the soldiers, until it evacuates. It goes to Sparks! He's, uh, he's currently in orbit for the next several minutes. <laughs> I need a 60 yep. foot. I don't want you to kill him. Go stop her. I'll deal with him. What? Stop her? Why? Stop her. Stop her. I don't, what am I supposed to do with that? Smash the phylactery. Which one? It's got a vulnerability on it right now. I haven't That's taken it because I haven't taken it down yet. Uh. No, it's immune, so it has invulnerability on right now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big crystal on the back? Yeah. Okay. Do we know that? Does he know that? Yeah, he knows that. Yeah, he knows that, but does he know that? No, probably not. I mean, yeah, but what would your strategy have been? Your strategy would have been to go kill the thing, right? You don't. That's what, you no, don't. that's what he was doing. He what was I was going to do is, big magic-y thing, I don't know what to do with that. All I'm right. going to deal with the target. Go kill the other thing. The target. We'll take care of the flag. Okay, I'm going to uh, meet the step. Whoa. Hi! Are you just going to be able to get out of those? You just hear it. Just. And a, he's on the floor. Just. <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> you see this man in tatters, scars across his entire body, clearly of self -mut mutilation. You see that as if the, like, the middle arms have been like shoved in open stumps that have clumped over messy, like, like, uh, like you know, bolts that have gone into the joints. Consider this a mercy. Not blade of mercy. 
Yeah. Make your attacks. We've got a little brutal here. I am a brute fighter. I'm sorry, and the lich isn't brutal. Yeah, we're kind of pissed at this point. <laughs> yeah. I am. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, I had more goals than 30. Wanting to be yes. for that wizard. Roll your three attacks, motherfucker. And, uh, 20. You know, we had all the guards that I was willing to Does not hit. hit. Shield. Oof. 31. That hits. <laughs> Roll your attack damage. Are you, uh, you've already used up, like, as an action surge and all that. Yeah, I, I'm tapped out of this yeah, point. Yeah. I need I need a rest. I am Stand up the two uh, uh, other remaining wizards. Stand them all back up, by the way, because I've been kind of skipping them. And move them closer to the door. Pretty sure my ape should have gone in by now, but... I think, uh, no, he's at the very end. He's at the very, very end. He likes to wind up his bows. I think that's another wizard. I think you're right. And they're going to take the dash action because they're at this point they're like we need to get there and they're like hey, hey, how are you oh, fucking sucks because <laughs> they all skip leg day okay so for those two hits thank god we're in the safety bubble <laughs> <laughs> they all got popcorn <laughs> No, they're they're sitting down and they're they're, they're sitting down. They're reading through their their employee no. manuscript. If you going, look back, they're, they're starting to. Think about dragons you notice know, half of them have already, whoop, and they started falling dead. Hmm. And the rest of them were like, you know, if we unionized, we would have to put up with this bullshit. <laughs> yeah. For those two hits, that's going to be forty-eight points of slashing. Jesus. Force damage. Let me calculate. Hits. Two, two hits. Two hits. Yeah. Slashing force damage and one d six radiant damage on top of that as well. Name his end. Um, just oh. <laughs> nice and nice and quick. We're just going to slash and stab because it's a mercy at this point. Sparks when it absolutely must be ventilated. <laughs> Sparks, how many hit points do you have right now? I drank four potions before this fight started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually You're still so ripping from the potions. I could probably take That's the entirety of this onslaught and be okay. There's a reason they're called even have even regaining hit points at the start of, uh, at the end of your turn because of no, because I'm at half hit points now. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I, I, I drank he has until a I drink ability. Yeah. <laughs> I re regain nine hit points every single time, every single round. Until I below half hit points. Yeah, I call it the John Wick syndrome. Anyway, so that's your turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at half hit points now. Um, are any of the wizards that just... Actually, no, they dashed and everything, so... Uh, Alright, so... The Lich's turn... The Shadow Monarch is going to start absorbing her own soul energy to what, to try to rebuild her body. She's Put her in the lamp! She's going to regain 18. She's still not oh, complete. I'm moving. That's my move. Because right now she is quickly running out of options. Options, options bodies, people. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the transmuter wizard is going hur, hur, and is going to strike to the crystal. How far? Uh, I believe he has forty feet of movement. Uh, all right, that's all right. right yeah, give or take. He's going to definitely have to dash regardless. The eight, eight has forty feet. Yes. Ha -ha! He can dash probably naked. Quinn, target. it is your turn. Uh, Quinn. Striding up these stairs all casually with these stones, takes you know, picks one out, flips it at the the thing. It's spell magic. Roll a d twenty. Add my uh, charisma modifier. It's your spell casting modifier. Yes. Yeah. Actually, you you know how to cast it. Anyway, so yeah, hundred percent. That's twenty. Not an after twenty. It's a total dirty 20. twenty, which is a one above. You needed a nineteen. I you know, you I see the color, color like the necrotic <laughs> energy. As soon as the rock hit, the rock stops like a pebble that just hit uh, some ice yeah. and just stuck perfectly. And then, <laughs> a blinding flash of green light <laughs> as a hundred souls go <laughs> in every single direction. As you see the flat three bare and naked in front of you, Todd <laughs> is practically salivating. <laughs> I have so no, many other things I could do the rest of my turn, and I literally just kind of stand there and go... And I'm, I'm looking straight at the Shadow Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> just... Can I level spell? Just... Ping. 
the shadow, shadow monarch, looks across for vanquishers. <laughs> that are charging the phylactery. That are charging the phylactery. She is a smart cookie. But she knows her end. And she's quickly, like, racing with the minds of the various ways to end. And she just looks you for the person that just unlocked everything and undid everything at this specific moment and made her touchable. I don't know how, but I will find you. I do not care what I have to barter. I do not care what I have to sacrifice. I will come back for you. <laughs> and somewhere in the middle of that, uh, uh, Todd pulls the blade and goes, <laughs> <laughs> Hand me Vecna! Hand me Vecna! I devote everything to my to your being as long as you give me the chance to hold the glamour to let me. And then it's Todd's turn. Todd is going to go take a coin, stab the coin with the rapier into the freaking phylactery, and I want you to roll a sneak attack. Going to roll right up the chest and, and while what that, advantage. And while that open channel to Vecna, I was like, Vecna, we still on for Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> Charisma saving throw, motherfucker. So that's a so so at rolling an advantage. Yeah. That's a one and a twenty. So that's a crit. So roll sneak attack times two plus all She's her. Got nine and the lightning damage. damage oh too. And the lightning goes off. Thirty-one. Okay, so you don't immediately go fucking insane. <laughs> Literally talking about casual, casual just like jet like contact with a very so, bad god. It's like so if you just get like a thousand years of suffering and pain of the t souls that are inside of Vecna's body, and you know that's all you get. But at the same time, you like yeah, that's remember right. Vecna's like, a lawful new. Do I double the sneak? Yes, he's a lawful new. Oh no, sorry, I'm he, thinking we jazz. Sorry, yeah, no, Vecna is. Vecna, a oh fuck, Vecna. No. Do I no, double no, the sneak no, attack? Did hmm? our sneak attack dice double? Yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Hang on. Oh god. And the lightning uh, is not going because that's only if it goes off on the crew. Just Three. Okay, and how much did the rapier does? One d eight. So it's two d eight. Yep. And then additional 66, I believe, for the lightning. And another 66, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when a rogue crits. But it's to one person. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have been to downtown? I hear it's good here. <laughs> I saw a shawarma place on the way in. 130 <laughs> points even. Yeah. One more time? 130 points even. She needed to do 50. With <laughs> <laughs> a single hit. So, Todd. Not only taking the soul coin, taking the rapier, goes, that's nice, bitch, and shoves it into soul coin first. They said, well, soul coin, her uh, token that uh, gathers souls. She shoves it in there, hits the chest, like inner chest ca cavity of the like the reflective soul energy of the shadow the monarch. Image, yeah. The image of her, and immediately before she's uh, the shadow monarch is even able to finish the vow. It stops like a frozen image, and then they crash as the energy boils and boils and boils and boils and boils and, boils and shatters and explodes. <laughs> Single point to the coin. The coin gets rocketed back out because there's a lot more soul than just one soul in there. Yeah. Shadow Monarch with a natural 20. I'm not even going to ask for another roll with a natural 20, uh, natural 20 attack gets the one soul she wants, as the rest of the souls erupt in a volcano of necrotic energy. <laughs> Sky lasers. <laughs> as hundreds of thousands of souls are released at once. Back into the afterlife. Back into the afterlife, into the heavens and where they Nick Wiss, we have a lot of work for you. <laughs> Solid three minutes later, it stops. <laughs> I, I open my vest and there's the raven pokes its head up out of the, out of the uh, pocket of my vest. There you go. Yeah, he, he, the raven's like a little like blinky eye because it's taking a lot of damage. <laughs> like, there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> and we're going to end tonight's sessions there as 
the entire of Othmer, the city capital of the Russian Empire, bears witness to one of the uh, renowned schools of their city. I think they pay attention to that. They pay attention to that. Necrotic Skyweaver. So, so there's 15 silver for this? It's not three minutes, it's more like a solid 30 seconds of just it going off. Yeah. And then the foundation begins to settle and read. All right, everyone into the teleport. Yeah, and there's teleportation circles behind you, and there's uh, wizards behind you, like, yep, yep, yep. And and everyone everyone into the teleport. Yeah. Just come with me. All right, hold hands on count of three. One, two, and zip. Are you taking, like, the professors with you? Absolutely. Yeah, yes. they're not like... Absolutely! <laughs> the uh, yeah. uh, what about all the stuff in here? Yeah. Oh... Are you kidding? With Todd's movement speed, she's already she's shattered. Like, like a she, there's a couple, of... like, but we'll get the, back to the matter of you guys teleporting out. If you want to risk it, but this place is collapsed. Always oh, risk it. Yeah, always biscuit. risk it for the biscuit. For the biscuit. Okay. 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 We'll get back to it for a hot looting sesh <laughs> of like all the movement. Tell me what it is. If it's a little magic, I'll throw it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> sort it later. And there's going to be like, the, this place is already fucked. With all that's going off, there's bits of the floor that are breaking apart. There's ceilings coming off. This place Order is coming rise. down um, because really. all the necrotic tissue that was being, you know, holding the inner parts and eroding yeah. the place inside out is now no longer like holding up and quickly eroding. And the foundations of this building is gonna. And it, you don't realize it. You're on a ten-story building. And I really don't want to be here exactly. when they come trying to figure out what happens. Exactly. So we'll get back to it. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep on rolling, everyone. Bye. 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 I need a rest. Just, oh wow. my god, I need a rest. I cannot help but notice the world is not the same as when we all got started and we know who's to blame. No turning back now to try to be insane. For what's beyond the veil, too vivid to explain. Faceless behemoths haunt my dreams. Sanity. I will not stand, I won't back away As long as you're with me Together we roll, together we roll I'll fight for you, will you fight for me? Together we roll, together we roll I'll protect you, just as long as you stand with me Just a game to them Eldritch monstrosities At their unholy whim But we will stand up We'll shout a battle cry The future beckons us And we'll stand unified